Two. Give me a rack, boy. And there we go. Merry Christmas. Well, it's not yet, but we're on the lead up to it, so get used to Christmas songs because they will be here every week, all the way until Christmas. I know and everyone if you're in the hangout, God help you, because we'll probably be playing them in there as well. So everybody, welcome to Friday Night's Live at the Bench Show. Um, we've got our usual show. It's good to be back as well properly. We've had a few uh, problems over the last few weeks, uh, one for myself, and then we were a little bit short staff, so we thought we'll postpone it and put on a proper show this week. So, we've got all the usual stuff. We've got Tim looking at all the latest kit releases. We've got Dan looking at all your work on the Facebook page and the forum. Uh, we've got what we've been working on, what we've been buying, uh, what we've been building as well, obviously. Uh, get any questions from you guys in the chat, and obviously talk to you guys in the chat as well. So, go in to ask, pop it in the chat, put a question mark in front of it, and we'll get to it as and when we can. And this is the first Friday of the month. It literally is the first, uh, I think. Got a date to this, hang on. 
Yes, it's the first. Uh, we've got the monthly auctions tonight as well, which I'll hand you over to Tim in a minute. He's got a picture you can put up. Read oh. off the, the lots we've got. Hey? I will. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I get a committee involved, sorry. <laughs> um, and we'll show you what's going to be auctioned up tonight as well. Uh, and as always, we have some prizes. So sponsored by me e models tonight. We've got a beautiful and listening ways of Tom. Please be in the UK every with this. <laughs> uh, <gasps> lovely mini RT54. Very, very nice kit. That thing must be absolutely ram packed with plastic, but it's sealed. I don't want to open it. So that is a very, very nice kit to give away. And we have an ICM MIG 25. Oh, I like that. Yeah, very nice kit as well. It's anything like that beautiful uh, I-16 we're building at the minute. That's going to be a lovely kit as well. And as always, oh, I've left me prop up there. Forget it. Uh, we've got a UMP goodie bag as well. Uh, to give away. Yeah. So three prizes give away through the night. Uh, stick around. Then I'll go on for tonight. Uh, probably going to go a little bit with the auctions. They do take a little bit of extra time. But stick with us, and we'll get through them in the giveaways, and that's it. Apologies for the appearance. We've got a lot of great showing tonight. Look at that. Well, it's been a busy day. Didn't have time to have a shave and get rid of my, my action man hairdo. But <laughs> bear with it. Um, and there we are. So, who we got with us tonight? We have, oh, he's our special new person. <laughs> I, think, I think we can scrap the special. Graham. No, special. Oh! Here. Hello. I'm that window behind you, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, Reflecting on his head. Nobody's, nobody's behind me. No, no. No, it's old. No one but... kids shouting, though. There we go. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. So, welcome to your first proper live show. Thank you. Thank you for joining us as part of the regular crew. Yeah, quite excited. Thank you for having me. Ah, no problem at all. Um, we, we told you about the joining fee, didn't we? You didn't, but... It involves a busy... Yeah, you caught me out. You caught me on the hop on last Saturday's oh. live show. So you've caught me on the hop again. Yeah. How much do we owe you? Uh, I'll explain it later. It involves <laughs> a gerbil and a tennis ball. Okay. Yeah. Tennis tennis ball. Ball. Oh, not, not that one again. Yes, that one again. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, thanks for joining us. Glad to have you as part of the crew. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, you can find something you can add. Don't know what though. No and uh there we go so yeah to kick back take it easy don't get too stressed and just enjoy it and just don't swear have a nervous drink yeah pick her up pinky 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 thanks who doesn't swear i'm not gonna I'll, swear i'll make you swear i'll make tim swear again tonight. i think tim <laughs> I'll do it again please can i just add that your picture's not very equal in your frame behind you it looks like it's drooped yeah it has the um P40. Yeah, yeah. I know oh, it's you slipped it slipped in the frame. It slipped in the frame. Nothing worse when you slip in the frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful, you can break things. Anyway, moving on. Hello, Brett. Hi everybody. How are you? Outstanding. How are you? Hi, Brett. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Busy Hi, Les. Go, go on, you should have a chat. Okay. Right. How's how's life up in the mountains, man? Uh, life in the mountains is always wonderful. Excellent. Fresh Excellent. air, not a lot of people, snow. Well, you you have all the things that uh, are lacking here. Yeah. And How's life in the city? Yeah, just the opposite. <laughs> Lots of people, no snow. Well, I'd send you the snow, but I don't know if it'd be okay while we was there. Paul yeah. keeps looking at his Apple Watch like we're taking up his time. I know. Uh, okay, well, we'll get back. We'll get back to him. Is it okay? Yeah, you've been in here for half an hour before the show, and you choose now to have a catch up. Man, yeah. Like, carry on. Our fans oh, are watching. Tim, Tim, should we give it back to Paul? Tim? Tim doesn't know the question. No, I do I do know the question. I just don't know the answer. Okay. Back, uh, back to Paul. The question. Anyway, you had a busy week, Brad? Yes, excellent, brilliant. You got much to auction off? No? Okay, that's superb. <laughs> I have one thing to auction off. I have this beautiful... Wow, you are actually auctioning something off? Yeah. Get the flock out of here. Yeah. Wow. Really? Really? I don't think I've ever known you to sell or get rid of anything. I actually one other thing off. That's Dan got it. Wow. Yeah, you did actually. That's right. Yeah. Paul will agree once it's well on fire. Like smoky. No, he's put it out now. Yeah, that stash behind you never goes down, Brett. It only ever goes yeah. up. Yep, it does. Excellent. Well, that's good. You got something in the auction. Right. I do. Nice one, Brett. And we got Dan. Mr. Dan. 
No, I'm mashing buttons. It's just not playing game. Hang on. Where are we? We got, we got ice cream, Lieutenant Diane. Hey, it's your Star Wars t-shirt on. Nah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Oh, good. yeah. No four, yeah? Can't quite see it. It's white now, it'd be. No, it's, I'm not, I'm not going to lift it up any more than that. No, no. It's a new hope. Is that not his rope? I see the Klingons. <laughs> Why has my lower third gone off as well? Oh, it's terrible. Don't tell me it's going to crash on me. Oh, well, no. there you go. You're back on. There we are. Awesome. Been a busy week, right? Uh, yes, a very busy week and a crap end into it. But we'll we'll gloss over that. I'm, you know, I'll I'll live. Excellent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anything for the auctions this week? Uh, no, not for me. It's been that manic and busy. I've just, yeah. and if I can be fairly honest, I've not been really asked to look or anything. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Um, is the build forum and Facebook busy? Um, we roll over, didn't we? Yes, I'm going to say yes for Facebook and forum. I've been too bad actually. It rolls onto a second page. I do wow. Believe. Yeah. So. Smoking. Well, that's, it's took a rollover no, guys. To, it's took a rollover to get to a second page, though. But yeah, that's all right. Ooh, pardon. <laughs> Bit of scream. Pinky up. Oh, <laughs> Excellent, nice one, Dan. And we got Mister Meth. Uh, mess. Meth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> Hello. Are there any information things behind you that you? Oh, I'm not even getting into that. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> That's a lab. <laughs> I'm doing okay. How about you? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. Yeah, I've been uh, busy. Actually, I mean, we really haven't had a chance to catch up. I've been busy. I've seen barely anything of you. Now you're a entrepreneur. I know. I'm no longer part of the lazy bastards club. I huh? know. It's just leaving me salmon. Uh, as long as you guys are holding down the yeah. floor, that's all that matters. Me, Sam, John, and Ivan every now and then, it's been quiet, hasn't it, Sam? No, it's been, no. it's, it, don't forget the no, membership no, level. I'm not going to lie. I need to watch Breaking Bad so I can learn how to make money. <laughs> yes. And he's, uh, he sold the camper van, though. I know. Uh, you made the mistake. You made the mistake. I did. I did. Well, we now have a third person that can help us with chat. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's someone who can actually manage to read it, you know, because the rest of them can't read it. Yeah, <laughs> I can't read. I yeah, can do pictures. I can do good pictures. Well, yes, the brush ribbons. <laughs> I will, yeah. Hmm. Excellent. Nice one, Les. Um, you got into auction off? Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. Cool. I have, let's see here. We have this here. Let's see. <coughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, it's, the, it's an Academy kit. It's a, here, let me see if I can get this. It's a, that's a 35. Yep. It's nice. one of the early war ones there. I've got that. That'll be auctioning off. And we're going to try our luck sci-fi kit again here. This one's uh, one that's not uh, really available anywhere without Ooh, even wow. Yeah, the USS Defiant. Now, can I suggest something tonight on these sci-fi ones? Don't start them off low. No, I'm not going to start that one off. I'd at set like a little reserve. Yeah, definitely. And I think the one that'll probably be the most popular for folks in the audience will be. Oh, uh, yeah, nice. I believe that was mine at one point, wasn't it? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was, I knew it was either you or Sam that I got. No, oh, if, if it was Sam's, it was mine. Yeah. 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 That's a DX yeah. kit as well from the Dragon Expo. They're nice kit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep, got those three that I'll be auctioning off tonight. So oh, I just had to kill the troll in the chat. So. I've seen that. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Oh, well, good try. Nice one, Les. Excellent. Some good stuff there. Very nice. Brilliant. Thank you very much. You betcha. So I've been picking your nose. You busy? <laughs> uh, what's under your chin? Um, <laughs> oh, there's so many things I could say. It's definitely not head. Well, I might. It's definitely it is. a bit of a rug. How are you, Ivan? I'm fine. Been a good week? Meh. Meh. Very, very mediocre week. Oh, mediocre. Mediocre? I tell you what, you know what you were saying about that chair the other day. Actually, when you said it now, you can actually see. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a massive chair. Massive, yeah. It's like yeah. mine. Mine's huge, but I'm like a gorilla, so I fit into mine perfectly. Yeah. You actually, yeah. Looking at that now, you actually do look really small in the chair. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, it right. Yeah. At the risk of sounding shorter than I am, if I proper sit up straight, my feet can push the floor at max height. Oh yeah, we can believe that. Um, yeah. Five foot. High chairs are designed. No, I, it doesn't have seatbelts, but it have straps and a little track. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I bought a chair. Yeah, you need to 
what you said the other day, mate. You need to move that on and get move this one on. Get the one that's not for larger okay. males. You ain't, you ain't posting yeah. nothing anywhere. No, that's the collection only. Yeah, the collection. I'll, so. I'll come and collect it. Oh, there you go. You got a chair. Yeah, yeah but yours doesn't creak. creak. Yours that's doesn't creak. creak. Mine doesn't creak. Yeah. Yeah. Swap chairs then. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. No, 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 no. It'll creak. Anyway, rather than. Any oh, is a bong behind you? Above your head. Yeah, thing. above your head. It looks oh, like. Oh, look at that. There we go. That's either a bong or a well, well, welcome to Colorado. Right. Cheap hairspray. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, what? it's not exciting, is it? Yeah, but you're not going to need it soon because you're receding really badly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a fiver. That's got to be a fiver. Oh, there's got to be a fiver. We didn't take these rules, did we, our hand signals? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are we going to auction off, Ivan? Um, Edward BF109 G6. I love 109s. And I love 109s. And a Revel 148 F15. Oh, I can't believe you're selling that. It's such a I know. Good... The, 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 yeah. It's a really um, underrated kit, that. It's probably the best F15 you'll get. Well, uh, it will have you good as well. The thing but... is, I've got aftermarket for it. For some reason, I said I wasn't going to sell the aftermarket with the kit. But. But then what's the point of keeping it? I think you better do it as a bundle. Yeah, I'm going to do the kit and the aftermarket. The kit's business. not that expensive to buy. Uh, no, it's not. Really, it's not. You can pick so, up heaps. I think do it as a bundle, mate. You'd be better. Yeah, I'll do that. Excellent, mate. Cool. Have you time? And we got Mr. McCord. Hello. All right, Paul. Yeah, you, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. Good. I spoke to you all day, have I? Bob, quick message earlier on. Yeah. It's strange not talking to you on a Friday. It is, mate. Well, it's about six hours, and then we'll come on here. To and I, I got in about uh, three o'clock, and I, I was in here, painted the Capri. And right. Hannah James had popped out, and I knew they weren't going to be long. I thought, well, I need to go in and get ready anyway. So I just sprayed my Capri. Um, I went in. So I thought there was no point in starting to hang out up at all. Yeah, well, I wasn't up here today at all. I was downstairs at the waiting some stuff coming. Yeah. Oh. So I've got nothing done, but I'm going to be decaling the lance here tonight, hopefully. Uh, well, hopefully you'll have better luck than me. Hmm. Hopefully. Because if you do, I'll buy another, because mine met my fist. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, i seen that. Yeah. Um, well, it actually didn't meet me fist. I just crushed it in my hand. Yeah. Um, bit of a... Animal. I'll explain in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Engineering Animal. dispute. Yeah, just a little bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, I really want to see. Start on those front wings on that one that went foobar on me. Mm. If you can get that down, you'll be laughing with the rest. If you can't get them down, you're screwed. Yeah. It's the not the one on the bonnet, the one on the wing. The one on the wing itself. Yeah. If you, you can have that yeah. detail down, that's it. Yeah. Same it's a different shape, isn't it? Yes. Hang on, what do you mean? No, it's just a weird shape. Oh, yeah, it's just the evolution with a wide dash. Yeah. Rather than a HR. Happy day. Yeah, so it was spam in the chat. Um, hopefully you get done. Let us know when you do it, mate. Even if you interrupt me, I'd rather know you're done because I want to buy another one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's completely ominous, on, isn't it? Good luck. I think I'll need it. Excellent. On the positive sign, Andy. Yes, the scene line did disappear in the bin. Yes. Yeah. Oh, John. Good evening. How are you? Uh, broken, but other than that, <laughs> yeah, you'll be yawning before we know it. Yeah, because I didn't finish work till seven. So Ooh, I did say that, uh, we've, we, uh, this is great now. Now it sounds really horrible. This is great now. We've got Graham. We don't have to be on. We've been more of us now. We've got cover. You know, we're not sure how many one or two can't get on. So yeah, yeah don't, don't always feel obligated. Um, but it's good to see you. Eh? It sounded really dodgy, yeah. didn't it? Like I really wasn't wanting you. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> like I really couldn't be bothered. Bugger off, Welcome, John. John. Yeah, you know. Bugger off. Like share you. <laughs> That anchor, you, like you. <laughs> yeah. Do I have um, to score? Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm not even going to bother asking if you got anything to auction because you never do. No, it's because I build stuff too quickly to actually sell anything. Yes, we do. <laughs> Excellent. Um, no classic 90s Gruns t shirts tonight, John? Uh, there is a t shirt on underneath the jumper, but it's not suitable for public consumption. Oh, <laughs> kind of want to see it now. Yeah. Why, why would someone sort of consume it? Have I seen it before? Uh, possibly. It involves naked lesbian vampires. Oh, come on. We should... Oh, no, actually, no. We'll see, that's a good Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's a gift that keeps on giving. 
Like <laughs> shitty gluten on my carry. <laughs> What's the difference? What? No, go on. Oh. Excellent. I should, no, leave it there, John. Leave it there. We'll get one <laughs> the professional lesbian forums up in Upper Up. Why are we going to do it every week? I, I just do it. Idiot. I know. <sighs> anyway, thank you, John. Cheers, buddy. Finger up. Well, nice. like it. Timmy. Oh, Timmy's just on the line. Good evening. Oh, there he is. We're rubbing your gums, Timmy. <laughs> it works better. I like a freeze. Hogan Doss. Hogan Doss ice cream. That's quite nice. I'm getting shout with that. Yes, yeah. darling. Mm, I certainly that's, that, that, that's all the weirdest comments I her, right, John. Can we do a crowdfund for some braziers for Hannah to keep her warm while she's working away packing out? Braziers. Yeah? Braziers. Braziers. Oh, yeah. Now, now, <laughs> now, 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 I'm on the iPad. Now, 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 We're going to get some burning bars. Now, 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 now I'll look closely. It's not as odd a comment as I read. <laughs> I'll read the iPad. Look, it's there. It's tiny. Oh, that's funny. So going from a big screen to that, I was like, let's say Brazier. So, Brazzers. Yeah. Anyway, John, carry on. <laughs> what, what, I was like, wait, wait, wait to ruin it. Sorry. Now you know you're getting burning bras. Sorry. Look at that one, should we? <laughs> it's Tim Timmed already. Uh, well, he's eating. So that, that's oh. Tim. Sorry, John. <laughs> Cast the dispersions off. <coughs> so, Timmy. Go. Look at you've not had a shower. Yep. Excellent. I need a wash. A bit dirty. Yeah. Excellent. Only a little bit dirty. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. You need to um, get dirty. Okay. Hey. I'm, I'm very good. Had a good week. Yeah, you got your shelf up there at last. I got a shelf. The unit's up. I did. I made a slight error in ordering the rest of the of the little paint pots for yeah, so... shelves. Uh, ch check check your order twice before clicking buy. What have you ordered? I or I ordered five of the Vallejo paint holders. Oh. Instead of five of the Gunzi paint holders. Have you got Vallejo paint? Yeah, I've already got a stand for all that. Tony, I gave me was very kind and uh, he had a spare stand and gave me a spare stand. Well, I'll go up and learn and say what a bellend. Oh, yeah. my, truly. Have you contacted them? Have you contacted them? Yep, they're fine. What they guess they said is just return it to the shop. They can still change it over and post it back. Fair dues. So, which is good. I'm very. I'm there. They've said, yep, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. Post it back. You have to. I, I can't. What I don't think I can do is just refuse the parcel and have it sent back to them. I've got to send it. Yeah, but your other thing will get sent back in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah unfortunately, yeah. But uh, anyway, it, 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 it'll, it'll all go around and it'll come back. Hopefully, I'll get it before Christmas is the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, you, I'm not you my... got the auction pick. I. Did you certainly... add my Brabham to it? Yes, of course I did. Your Brabham. Oh, I looked for the picture. Couldn't see a new one. Oh, you maybe you should maybe you should look better. I don't see it. It wasn't there. Well, last week you got last night and nobody did. Uh, not not the one last night. This one went up to date is yeah. so don't. No, we're going to use your monthly auctions, and then we've got two sets of auctions, haven't we? Yes, we've got two sets of auctions. Um, which we'll probably get to. Well, we'll probably get to pretty quick in about 160. Uh, right, there we go. That's everything we've got. Okay, dokie. Okay. Timmy, do you want to run through the first and second auction lots? Uh, two, two sets. I will wait for my phone to um, open up. Well, the kit. I'll be there tomorrow. My my new phone is working wonderfully. Uh, I'll let you know. Very good it is. Oh, I'll do. start this argument again. That, that's relevant to the auction. Of course. No, I just want to let you know. Please don't. Oh, okay. Keep it on topic. Carry on. on. Sorry. I'm, ah, what, what's going on here? Hang oh, on. Oh, your phone's died because it's crap. Oh, because no, I've, cli I've clicked on completely the wrong area to look at things. Areola. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I clicked on that. It wasn't what I was thinking. Oh, damn, Brazier's. Right. So the first lot, we start with Edward 109. Uh, second is the Bell Kit Skoda. Oh, oh I've written Skodia. Uh, the, then the Academy 35T. Uh, the Fujimi Brabham. The Hobby Boss SU17. The Dragon Brumbar. The AMT Trans Am, which is the. Um, Smokey and the Bandit car. Smokey and the Bandit, thank you. But brain went off then. Uh, the Bell Kit's Polo. The bike just said Smokey the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the AMT Stargate. Uh, second lot is Belkitz Fiesta, Pro Modeler, 
69 Charger. Which actually is the road car, but it does have a set of decals in for the Juicer Hazard General Lee, the proper ones with the Confederate flag. General and Lee. I think there's a proper set of wheels in there, wasn't there for it, Brett, if I remember right? Yep, proper set of wheels for a General Lee too. Uh, Brett saw this when I bought this off Brett a while back. And he managed to hook me up, but unfortunately, I just don't constantly build them. That right. was all there to make the General Lee all the kit shown on the box. It has two engines in the kit, too, so you can do ah. either right. the Hemi or the Magnum. There you go. Excellent. Carry on to me. Um, the the Trumpeter T64. Nice. Uh, 135. That's a big old kit. There's a lot of mm. barrel, good, a lot of plastic in that one. That's got John's name all over it. Oh, I don't think got John's name. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, don't anyone bid on that, please. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't bid John up, please. Whatever you do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the uh, Revel F15, which said is one of the best F15. Well, along yeah, with, I think like, it is. I think it's regarded as the best. But I, th yeah. I, th I think for the for the price they are, mm -hmm. that's definitely the price for the price. With have, aftermarket. With aftermarket. And you've got some aftermarket in there, chucks in there as well. Indeed. Um, the Tamiya F60. For, uh, which is the Ferrari Formula One car with photo etch? With uh, which the which, very uh, rare Tammy kit that actually comes with photo etch. Oh, it's, it's the Tamiya photo etch in there. Yeah. Uh, you've got Dragon Stug nice. at the bottom there, and then the Rebel Ford Fus truck. Excellent. So we've got mixed bag aircraft, armor, cars, truck. Yeah. We've got a bit of everything in there, which is really good this week. Yeah, so bad little. Uh, so yeah, well, what we'll probably do is we'll probably read the chat do a giveaway and then we'll do the first little auctions we're 160 viewers so by the time we've done that we'll be able to use 180 200 odd and we'll do it that way so let's read the chat it's been busy hasn't it i know it has i've been watching it God. I, i'm not even anywhere near where the top was uh i no me neither uh carl's yeah making mother's got a cough and a headache the weekend's so relaxation started no he's drinking jim anderson's there mr anderson uh, good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas. Oh, Lindsay, saying, what? This Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lindsay, hello, Lynn. Hello, the there. Hello, man. Oh, oh we disconnected from chat. Uh, Peter Cooper's there. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, um, my connection bolted. It was a bit iffy before. But for a third <laughs> Friday in a run, would be uh, screwed. Uh, yeah. Bones is there. Hi, Colin. Everyone, hello. John M W. Hi, guys. Howdy. Uh, we've got oh, chat is connected again. That's not good. Hope it doesn't do it for the show. Norman Deza saying good evening, fellow screw fiddlers. Good evening to the crew. Yes, it's true. I'm here, but you didn't expect your weekend off to a bad start. We didn't know. Simon's in the the Jedi saying good evening to everyone. And the Zen hey, Zambia Max is greetings from the south of Portugal. Lovely. Uh, Scott's there. Two kids, no sleep. Uh, why are we here? Has to start it yet? It's not useful. You are. You're waiting for this. <laughs> uh, got Doctor Sprout, uh, Tony. Uh, hello, everyone. How are you all doing? Not bad. Not bad. Hello. Uh, same people chit chatting to each other. Uh, Michael says, "And hi all. Looking forward to the show today." So are we. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, half a pint of bourbon down. Nice. Oh dear. You'll be feeling no pain in a bit. <laughs> uh, James Booker in there. So good, good, good morning, guys. Hello. The Royal Hall is there. Some greetings from Madison, uh, Wisconsin. I think that is, isn't it? Yep, that's what it is. King Dan's in there. Uh, Dutch Scale Models. Oh, that's Dan, isn't it? I think Dutch Scale Models' name's Dan as well. Sure, it is. Dan's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Black Century Cat Grace is good evening from Sherwood Forest. Where's that? Andy Morris is there saying good evening from God's Country, Yorkshire. Spelt wrong. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Uh, RJ Pilot says good evening, everybody. Hello. Never had a single lesson. Oh, that shitty flute was good. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, Andy Mo says, is this a spruce surgery show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like coming back because you love it. That's why. That's right. Mandatory modeler Rob uh, says good evening, everyone. Hello. Again, he said good evening, all. All right. Uh, George P says somebody won't check the cat. It's getting strangled. It is. Wow. Andy Callis says dual recorders, and I thought it couldn't be more painful. Someone want to take over in a minute? You betcha. And we'll go with good meet me TV. Ten stuff off. Love this tune. So do we. So do we. Uh, Norman D says round of applause. That tune took thirty-four cans of beans. 
and seven for each. Long. <laughs> Over twenty, you two. All right. Let's see here. We've got. Uh, oh, somebody mentioning Christmas again. That's Dutch scale models. Dear, oh dear. It's that time of year. There's an unwritten rule in Hangouts after the 1st of December. No, that's true. That's true. Goes, tunes, whatever. We can go. All right. Steve's in there. He says, hello, all plastic fanatics, and good evening to Paul and his plastic minions. Last but not least, head of committee, Tim. Wow, you get some recognition there, man. Tim's not even yeah. at the table. He's booked it off. Ah, see how it is. Tommy's in there. We got morning guys from beautiful sunny SoCal. Andrew Haycox says evening all. We've got Anthony Mitchell saying good evening as well. Matt House, Matt House, Matthias, Matthias, Matthias. Matthias. Hi all, Matthias. Uh huh. That too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, says happy December. Seriously, uh, that, that was Javier. Uh -huh. Javier was in there. No. I knew it was there. <laughs> John Stone says, greetings from Germany. Oh, John. Andrew's in there. Hi, gang. What's happening, Andrew? Mark's Hobby Headquarters says, hello to all. Hello. Adley, sending out salutations again. We got Killbox Scale Modeling. Ooh. He says, oh, hi, Sprue fellows. Hope you all had a good weekend. Even better Friday. So far, so good. We've got Roger Honing in there. Evening all. And uh, what else? We've got... Paul Lloyd, there's a name I haven't seen before. Evening all. Uh, hope you all had a good week's modeling. Actually, no, it was work. Uh, hey, Gil's in there. Hello, ladies and gents. What's happening, Gil? There you go. Uh, Andrew Callis is shocking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Billy Buckin says, great to be here. Happy Friday to you all. Good to see you, Billy. Hello. BR46 scale model says good evening from Germany. Hello. Hello. Oh, that naked modeler guy's in there. Hello, everyone. What's mm, happening? Hey, hey, Johnny. Uniroy says hi, all. Hey, That's right. Paul Green says evening, all from Cherry Chesterfield. <laughs> and Bernard Peters in there says hello. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, Paul says it's Brett's room on fire. <laughs> Looks very smoky. No, he's from Colorado. Uh, Bob187 says hello, everyone. And yeah, Lynn's like Brett auctioning something. It's scary, isn't it? Cam says good evening, everyone. Hope you all had a great week. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Peter Cooper wants to know are you having a bad hair day, John, or are you just cold? Uh, bad hair day. <laughs> all right, there you well, go. The bed is black. <laughs> Lena says, hi, guys. Happy Friday to you all. Uh, Ray from Baltimore. Oh, right. And let's see here. Mm -hmm. Brighton Paul's in there. Evening, everyone. Happy Friday. Hello. Uh, hey, Mike uh, says something, everyone. So apparently that's hello in some language. Uh, Rob B says, hi to all. Shadowland scale models. Evening, everyone. Who's the shiny new Paul uh, Posh pundit? Yeah. I don't know who you're talking about, but Graham's in here. Is he shiny in places? Oh dear. Challenger oh, scale model says evening, dudes. And Francis Perret says hi, everyone. Uh, oh, Laura Lewis was apparently trying to advertise things she shouldn't have been. No. Uh, she was naughty. Simon Eyes Forty One says evening, all. I hope everyone is well. So far, so good. Yo. Yo. Uh, Gee's in there. Evening, all. Hello, Gee. Hello, Gee. Hello. Uh, Shadowland scale model says Ivan's flocked his chin. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I didn't read that too fast. So yeah. many things you could say. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll say you can tell Ivan hasn't got a cax it and lift it off by now. There you go. Gary Constable. No, no. <laughs> Gary Constable says hi, all. Uh, oh, Evening, Gary. So hey, Gary. Uh, Kenneth Zimmerman's in there. Hey, Paul and everyone. Uh, screw this in, says, hey, everyone. A great way to unwind from a work day. Ah, Kimberly Collins, her friend. Mm, Mr. Gav says, evening model fans. I got Hello. 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 Oh, there's that bra comment. <laughs> <It's> burning. <laughs> yep, everybody's commenting on Tim eating already. Yeah. 
Do you mask, put your headset in, dude? Yeah, we get a little. Oh, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Apparently, uh, Bob's dad stole his ice cream. Oh. Mm -hmm. Punch him. Uh, Skullfish says, evening all, Merry Pre Christmas. Hello, Jace. And Model hey, Sport says, evening, afternoon, and good night. Nice. Oh, punch. Uh, let's see here. Do -do -do -do. Mick, uh, Jaffa says, belated hello, all, buddy. Hello. Uh, Hi, guys. Ashley, 389100. Hi, peeps. Yo, Ash. What's happening, 27546? <laughs> Why don't you hit your post? <laughs> Chris Green, howdy, folks. Uh, Stuart's in there. Hi, guys. Hope life finds you well. Busy with two kids, a 1 350th U boat, and just started on the Tamiya Tasca Rebox Easy 8. I'll be modeling it as the Fury Sherman. Excellent. Wait, hang on. Stuart's just busy with two kids. Yeah. What are they doing? Are they helping you build it? Oh, kids. Oh, I thought I said kids. Did he? Yeah. Well, it is Christmas. Well, yeah, there you go. Okay, I skipped, so if somebody else want to take over? <laughs> well, on, Graham, off you go. Oh, uh, Al, McNeese, Al McNeese says, Evening, peeps. Sorry I'm late. Oh. Long story. You must tell us sometime. That's right. No rush. Um, <laughs> Vadim Vasilev says, Hi, all. Uh, Sharpies Models tells Stu to flock it. Make oh. it a Furby Sherman. You all love a Furby Sherman. Sexy. Um, That's very short. Aggie Pete wants to know whose is the Foose F100. Tim's, I think. Tim, Tim yeah. Yeah. Yes. Ivan, is that uh, 109 and 132nd? Asks Rob B. 48. 48. There you go. <laughs> um, <laughs> do, 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 T62 is mine, says John. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Chris Legal says, sorry he's late. Evening all. Evening. Uh, Hello. Uh, blah, 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 blah. General chit chat. Joe's model kits. Hello everyone. Hope you're well. All well tonight. Yes, we are. Thank you. David Coates says hi. Hey as well. Yep. David Coates. Oh, sorry, sorry, David. I missed you there. Hey. You don't know me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This uh, is where's one strike against him. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Brad Pierce says good day. Good day, all. Good day. Good day. Uh, oh, you, mean the last? you missed out, Steve as well. Steve Chef model says even and all. Steve, how could I miss Steve? Steve. Steve. No, you didn't. <coughs> <laughs> um, hey, hey, leave Steve alone. He's my Costa buddy. Uh, Mark fun. Rose says, hello, guys. Nice to be back and catch up. Nice to have hello. you back, Mark. Uh, Cy Dennis, good evening all. Hope this Friday night finds you all well. Yes, thank you. Hope it does to you. Um, yeah, we met Cy at Telford, didn't we? Great. Yeah, your shed's looking lush, mate. It really is. Yeah. Uh, John Stone, has anyone got their hands on the new Meng single edged cutters? No, no, seem gimmicky to me, but that's just me. Okay, I haven't seen them. Uh, Hannah's in there, evening guys and girls. Hello, Hannah. Hello, oh, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Are you warm enough? Buying you a burning bra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then Carl says, by the way, Robin says, um, hang on, where'd that just go? Oh, yeah, Robin, uh, says, Robin hi. says hi. And then abused you all. Abused you all, Robin. Uh, hi, Robin. He's gone home today. Yep. He's gone Is he the fellow that wore the, wore the helmet that you were telling me about? <laughs> no, Ooh. we get stuff into a helmet. Oh. oh. Yes, Aggie Pete asked single edge cutters. I would suggest Google is your friend. It doesn't sound very promising. Exactly. Um, lots of people saying hi to Hannah. You see, they're all just after Harry Bows, aren't they? Yep. Um, Right, we'll get everywhere though. David Coates got freezing rain apparently. Where are they like you? Not that cold here. Very cold. Um, <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it? Uh, Dutch, scale model says, Dutch scale model says yes, his name is Dan or Dan actually. But I'm not sure how you're going to pronounce that. I think I just tried. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Dan. 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 Oh, I know how to pronounce your name. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Sky falls in there. He's put his name back, hasn't he? Changed it last week. Hi, Bob. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Hello, hi. all from my mobile. Paul Alliday says hi. Uh, b -b 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 John Stone. No, 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 that's Meng Tears. Yes. David Marzola watching the show. No golf today. Oh, oh dear. Something's mm. wrong with the world. It's a tough life, Dave. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Skill Model Jedi slices. As my fellow Walsolonian would say, I'm not going to do that. Does anybody else want to do it? It's Christmas! No. <laughs> Norman D says, Bar Humbug. I'm with you there, brother. Solidarity. Rich Bond oh, says, Hi, Hello, oh, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. How's the hi, excavator Rich. going? Why can't you miss out the senior citizen? Yeah. Well, yeah. He didn't show me his bus pass. Oh. Um, uh, that was a call now. Uh, Colin Wheeler says, good evening all. Man Cover Model says, evening all. Oh, Carl. I think that's Carl. I remember right. Uh, yeah. Punch says, your videos are great, John. Easy to listen to and well explained. There you go. Well, yeah. was, at least someone likes them. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like them. Um, so is John nearly listening? I'm on, I'm on the switch at five minutes in. <laughs> John Shetland Skill Models is wanting to say happy Thanksgiving to all the lovelies across the pond. Is Thanksgiving finished now? Yes. What was that going for? That was, that was like last week, but okay. thank you. Um, uh, Peter Cooper says, hey, Punch, did you see you bought a Zach Speed Capri? I saw that. I really, really hope you get past customs with that, mate. Mm-hmm. I think uh, um, I think size just put give you a really good new name there. More like Scrooge, Scrooge 73 cap. I think yeah. I think we need to change your name there. Yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. Um, it says, hi, also says that your videos are um, easy to follow. Well, um, I'm just glad they're not com- just insomnia cures. That's all I'm happy about. <laughs> just because you're Lynn, a nice man. Lynn's another one, Solidarity Sister. She says she listened to Christmas music all day, bar humbug already. Yep. A uh, bit of general chit chat. Is he in there again? Yeah. Uh, um, Mike UK, Mike, Mike UK, Michael. Where is thank, David? Thank God it's Friday, guys. Can't wait to get my hands on the models. Don't no, tell the you missus. Know. Where are you from, Jeff? <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, Jeff, Nick, his name? his name's like Pete or something. Uh, Kenneth Zimmerman, my model shop is up and running. Back on working in the yellow submarine. Oh, Ooh. Robert Smith says hello from Arnold, Missouri. Hello, Arnold. Hello. Uh, Paul Holiday. Hi, everyone. Nikita Harris. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ray from Malta. Hello, Good Ray. To see you again. Hello, Ray. Hey, Ray. Uh, very brief encounter at Telford. Uh, oh, do tell. More spammers. Excellent. Too many tonight. Too many sex people. Betty Boo. Uh, the sex people. <laughs> Pashti's finally home from work. What has he missed? Um, sex festival. Sex festival. <laughs> missed some ladies sex. in the chat, but other than that, I business as usual. Uh, Punch says, "Call me Betty." Okay, Betty. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh Sergeant Bones. Will says, "Bratland effect hit me today. Got an Alpha One Five Five to build." Well, which one did you get? Ooh, oh, nice. It says Quebec, Canada, for some reason. Yeah, um, Dan, Dutch scale mod, Dan, okay, yeah. It looks like we've got some spammers in tonight. Spam oh, fritters yeah. were my favourite school dinners. I used to love spam fritters. They were awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Spam, spam, spam. Wrong with spam. Yes, I screw 73 cat. That suits me well. Um, Steve Shedd says, we all like your videos, John. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm only joking, Steve. That's harsh. Um, <laughs> yeah, you really got a message. <laughs> um, model officer, uh, evening, James. Evening, all. Trust everyone is okay. Just finished at work. Hello. Um, yeah, sorry about that mess up earlier on, mate. I put my thing in the wrong place and he moved oh. it to another place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Will says he got the Tamiya, the red number eight. Where are you going to that one, Scram? What's that? <laughs> Putting in the wrong place. Nope, oh, Lynn's heading out. She's got to go and get ready for work. Where are you going to Bye, Lynn. Bye, Lynn. Bye, Lynn. And oh. I think that is us. Red to there. Yay. Put it oh, Les has beat me to it. Put it in. Put it in. Right, let's do a comp. <coughs> So, we're going to give that away first. It's the ICM MiG 25 RB, the recon, I believe it is. Lovely, lovely kit. So, all you're going to do to win that is follow directions. When you see Les post start numbers now in the chat, uh, you pick a number from one to a thousand, you get five minutes. After that, we close it. We do a live round of number generating. The person closer to the number wins the kit. It's that simple. Um, so, very, very easy to do. 
The name's Trev, random. Okay. Um, and that's it. So, you ready, Les? I am ready. <laughs> you have to only pick one number that we can get more than one, or you get disqualified. Right, in three, <laughs> two, one, go, Les. Numbers start now. What was the kid again there, Paul? <coughs> Mid 25 RB. Mid 25. Why well, put your mic, Mike UK models, but your name's Trev? I know. <laughs> Take all yourself, Graham. I told you. Yeah, Take all yourself, Graham. Yeah. yeah. You could have it. <laughs> That's my silly parents. That's not me. Who's <laughs> saying? They're coming to oh, They're coming from Ivan. They're, com yep. they're not coming from me. Well, you know, it'd be nice. Everybody that comments in the chat for the giveaway would say hello. Yes. Oh, it'd be nice. It'd be there yeah, for a lot longer, though. Yeah, I don't mind. We can skip past them. <laughs> you can't win unless you actually speak. There should technically be a stipulation that you can't win unless you're a member of ISM forum on Facebook. Yes. We, we, did, we did say that right, right at the start. We did, yeah. It's quite hard to police that. We realised it was near impossible to... It, it's doable to do. It should be a stipulation. I think we might actually start doing that, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's only fair. You know, companies give these kits for us to give away. We spend the time to do it. The least people could do is actually join the Facebook page in the forum. Mm -hmm. We shall see. It'd be nice to see some pictures of people with the kits on the Facebook and the forum, to be honest. Yes. We, we, that. we occasionally do get them. Hmm. I understand that people always put them in stashes and you build it when you build it. But it'd be nice to see a picture of you guys saying, Who I got? It'd be nice. It's like, I can understand people, be, I can understand <laughs> people not being on Facebook, but the forum's free. So. Hmm. Bam! Just just a picture holding the kit with a big cheesy grin. Yep. Or a big cheesy model while you're holding your grin. Yeah. Aces, hi, said hello. I was just in the chat. Ah, oh, sorry, Andy. Didn't see anybody. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Jamie Ball says hello from Derbyshire. I should have left that for Les. We're from Derbyshire. Yeah, Derbyshire. God's country. Real God's country, that one. No. Depends on who your God is, I guess. There's only one God. Just saying. Yeah, and he's in Chicago telling the Blues Brothers to hit it. <laughs> you got two and, a uh, half two and a half minutes. Oh, wait. Hang on. But I haven't already seen the number off here. I think you have. Uh, Where's his Robin male train again? I love right. that sound. Next week he's Robin female train. <laughs> Bubum tish. That's how you do it. Terrible. That's how you do it. That's called comedy on a Friday night, that Ivan. That's yeah. called 1980s comedy on a Friday night. You know. I do, that's, 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 I do look like a 1980s bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> Have you already got your stocking on, Les? I got to sit next to me. Yeah, I'm sure we get another one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Last time I steal a pair from midgets. <laughs> yeah, Modern Life is all the same. Ivan's pre shaving his chin. Who pre shaves his chin? Ah, you put Rio, that's right. Oh, I'm not making a joke about black facing. <laughs> oh, God. No. no. Move along quickly. Run. <laughs> and he says just a smile on photos. Never do I number. We made sure to smile at everything somebody took a picture of this year. Yeah, it was noticed. But next year, it's going to be comedy faces, I'm thinking. <laughs> I <haven't been> thinking. <laughs> Which one? At Telford, everybody that takes a picture with you, it's got to be a comedy face. He has got a comedy face. Oh, Adam Clark says, good evening from the wet and windy Kings Lynn. Oh, I'm on it left. Jody Mother says, evening all. Don't go for thick dwarf. It's not big, it's not clever. It's terrible. <laughs> it is great. Remember the Robin Hood men in tights gang? We, 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 we've seen him in his wife's tights, so we're not quite sure. <laughs> I don't know if he's got it, Robin, though. Probably your moustaches. Uh, Ivan's tried to grow one of them several times. Keeps falling up. <laughs> Keeps rolling down his face to his shin. What about the moustache? <clears throat> That's true. Now, oh, Graham, didn't you used to do archery as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. Ten Ten seconds. I know. I think. I thought. Think Graham would be more the fryer tuck. Yeah. Well, that's me. That's. Me. Oh, good. Sorry. No. Good point. 
That's how good they We all know oh. who Maid Marion is. <laughs> <laughs> right, you got five seconds. Are you ready? Oh, nice one, yeah, are you ready? Three, two, one, mark it. Number stop now. Uh, oh, uh, I, 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 Unfortunately, so we can't always be in. Sorry, Nikita. Right, nope. that's sharing. Is that sharing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so we're going to click this once, Stephen. You're out, unfortunately, buddy. Uh, what? Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to click this once and once. That will be the winning number. The two people have picked the same number. The first person who picked it wins. This is how we always do it. And as always, you think you know who's won? Please don't shout out in the chat. These guys will check. Double check and once have the answer. Let's well, announce it. So, the winning number four, the ICM MiG 25, is 492, right in the middle. Four, oh, nine, two. I hope he is random number. And there we go. Yeah, a bit late now with numbers, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Gary. Yeah, it's a good joke. Yeah, make sure you uh, you click the live feed. Make sure you are actually live on the show. Click the actual live icon and take it live straight away. Just so you know. Oh, pardon. Oh, this blooming chair, I'm sorry. I got away with that three years, Graham, don't worry. <laughs> what? Okay, you. you ain't getting away with that. That's pretty impressive. What was the number again? I forgot to write it down on my plum. Yeah. It's four nine two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, spot on. Bob's on. There we are. So it's quite that. So that we do our first auction section in a minute. Get one of them out of the way, and uh, then we'll go to look at what we've been building, and then we'll go to Dan. Happy that one, Dan? Yep. But you'll be well done in time, then, mate. Danny yeah. boy. Yeah. Oh, prony! I could do a prony right now. All righty, we do have a winner. The number that we drew on random.org was 492, and with that exact number, we have George P. as the winner. So congratulations, uh, George. George. Well done, George. Uh, get your name and address to me via the Facebook page, uh, Paul Bretland, or the forum, Paul, and I get that on the post here, so well done. Um, stick around, we've still got the T30, uh, sorry, T54 to give away, and um, the UMP goodie bag as well. Between now and the end of the show, they'll be done randomly. There we go. Right, I'm going to put the camera on Tim. Tim is going to put the uh, auction screen up and let us know. Well, just let us know what's up there. So we're going to put the uh, auction. So, um, this is going to be rules quickly. Um, so, all the auctions are done in UK pound. There's no dollars, euro, peseta, lira, etc. etc. Um, minimum bids are one pound. So there's no 50 pences, 10 p's, etc. etc. All payments are due within 24 hours by PayPal, bank transfer, whatever. But the quicker you pay, the better, obviously. And serious bids only. No mucking around. If you muck around, we will throw you out. Uh, uh, I don't think anyone's selling any of the... Oh, hang on. Tim might be selling some Belford auction stuff. But he's already done that. Is that sorry? Hey? Yeah, what? Gary's asking how many of us are selling Telford stash. Um, no, I don't think any of this, any of this is. No, no it's not as it. No, no, no. Right, what's up first? That's next month. First, so the first lot is uh, Ivan's Edward 109. Okay. There we are. So it's a profi pack of all the usual goodies in. I need to change my camera actually as well. Do you, do you need me on this screen or just need me to tell you? Yeah, it's right. I just, I just wanted to, to see it. That was all. Okay. So, yeah, take that now, mate, if you want. 
I'm going to turn all my malarkey off, get my timer up there with me. So we're going to do three minute auctions again, like we've been doing. And I'll put it on my screen. So see, so you want to start at a quid, Adam? Yeah, start at a quid. Okay, let me tell you what, let me give my phone a wipe. Right, right, okay, so there's the timer. I'll make sure you can see it. And, uh, are you ready, Les? I am ready. Okie dokie. Three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. Indeed. There we go. Off we go. Andreas is in there with a pound for the BF9. I'll do a hot dealer. <laughs> Southern Cross, 10. Al McNeish, you're 15. Ooh, come on, Al. Well behind you, gotcha. Al's not messing around. Oh, postage on this, Adam. What are we going to be? Uh, three quid, UK. Yeah. Uh, Europe, uh, six quid. US, nine quid. Yeah, thank you. Don't forget, guys, the price you're paying there does not include your postage. Ooh, Tyler Cross at 20. Don't forget, they are in pounds. There's UK pounds. If you could put a pound symbol in front of it, it'd be great, just so we can actually confirm it is a bid. Yeah. I've got somebody thinking it's a free price draw. Yeah. You put just 20p or, whatever, you know, p at the end of it, so we know. That would be fantastic. See Amanda in with 22 now. Oh. How did the phone go out of shot? How did that happen? Got <sighs> a minute and 37 seconds. Poltergeist. 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 Let's see what the delay is. Quite a big one. It is. Ten seconds. Oh, you have less. Second. Sorry, I'm actually trying to rattle through papers. I didn't calculate. I got estimates for uh, pounds uh, to over there to uh, England, but I don't have postage estimates for the states or. Go. I know. Go. The winner bid still with Tim Anson to 22 plus post. Uh, wow, that's generous, Michael Johnson. It's not a giveaway, but... Yeah, it's not a giveaway, Michael. It's an auction. All bids are final once typed in, though. Blue Attic, it's an auction, not a giveaway. Awesome. People, come on. I saw numbers. Yeah, no, that's not the thing. Yeah, that's the thing that annoys me a little bit because, well, I'm not even going to say it. It proves they're not watching attention. Yeah. So I'm going to take a Sprugu that isn't a bid of £37 pounds, and Michael Johnson that isn't a what, 105 What I'll do is I'm going to. Uh, 10 seconds, by the way. Uh, uh, Tim Anderson, uh, taking it. Yeah, the uh, winning bid is with. Uh, there you go. I'll remove those two if they're not. Ready, Les? Auction stops now. So who did we go with on that one? Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. Twenty-two pounds. Twenty-two pounds. Anderson. So pay attention, peeps. Yeah, you need to either put a pound sign in front of your bids. If you don't put a pound sign from now on, your bid's not counting. So we have a pound sign or GBP at the end, or even just a P at the end, so we know it's a bid. Please, if we don't see them, we're not counting as a genuine bid. Yes. Okay. I can't see any further than that. Nope. And I need to have this written out here. So people can read it next to the yes. Right, what's next, Tim? Sorry, I'm all distracted then. Uh, it is next one up. I was looking at the wrong screen. Stop playing about, Tim. Sorry. I started looking on Facebook whilst I was sitting there waiting. Uh, it is the Sam's Belkitz Skoda. Oh, or Skodia, as I've written on the Skodia. Skodia. It's a lovely build. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Well, does, does that mean it's more Skoda than a Skoda? That one? That's yeah. the one. That's yeah, that's good. the one. So, Belkid Skoda, lovely kit. Um, yeah. yep. Skoda rally car. So, very, very nice kit. Um, <laughs> what do you want to start your bidding off at? 
quid. That started a quid. Okay, postage. What are we looking at? UK, about three quid. Europe, probably about six. The States, probably about nine, ten, something like that. I'll go with ten on that. A little bit packed full of plastic. Oh, I go, yeah, okay. So there we go. That's it. So we're going to start the bidding on that at one pound. Ready, Liz? I am ready. Three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. There's, there, are some, there are some lovely ski, different schemes in the box yes. for this as well. There's a lot out there for this one. Which one? This, this Skoda. There's not. I thought there's quite a lot for Skoda. Yeah, there are. There are. Yeah. Yeah. Stand corrected, there are. Yeah, yeah. Loads. there's loads of it. It's the uh, one of the polos that it's known for. Oh, Adam. No pound sign. Yeah. Well, the massive size I've been anyway. Yep. Yeah. Let's just check your messenger. Okay, hold on a second, buddy. Ooh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're from another part of the world and you can't see the pound symbol on your screw on your yeah. keyboard, could you but, P? Yeah, if pounds or P. Right oh, just so we know, it's not an accidental putting of a number like it's a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, we're side 24. Yeah, Mastro at 25. The delay we've got is 11 seconds. Just so you know. Oh, it's all gone quiet. It's all gone quiet. Oh, it's going to... Scalpel. <gasps> Slit. <laughs> Buys. Suction. <laughs> Luffer. Uh, <laughs> oh, everyone is perhaps. What? Nipple clamps? Yeah. yeah. If one likes a nipple clamp. The only bit still with Nastro, £25. You've got a minute and 13 seconds on my screen. And um, you've got about a 10, 11 second delay if you fancy a last minute snipe. You can always um, bump it in these, I think. All, all keyboards will have it. It just yeah, depends on whether your keyboard have it, has it hit as a hidden button sort of thing. It's about the Batman. Uh, I've already said, if no pound sign. What a Batman symbol. Yeah, Batman oh. symbol. <laughs> Goodbye, you sex people. Ooh. Nice. Well done, Ivan. Oh, okay. Ivan, you could have let me check. <laughs> That's all right. I copied and pasted the link. Uh, these aren't hot blind girls, John. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't need to be hot. <laughs> uh, sorry, we're 27. Uh, Paul, we're bidding on Belkit Skoda. Do you want to show it quickly, Sam? You've literally got about 15 seconds. I'll tell you what, that's definitely not uh... a. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's not. Any ready, Les? You've got seven seconds. That one. Yeah, it's Nastro's on with 28 at the moment. 28, we're going to go last minute. But, uh, Simon, quite cheaper yeah. at the minute. Oh, oh Simon! Simon. <laughs> oh, Simon's won it. Les. Yes, sir. Okay, the Lamanoff. <laughs> it is. Auction stops now. No, yeah. it's not that. It's not that. You've not, you've not marked it. Wow, it's crazy because it's marked on my screen. It's right. marked on my screen too, right after Simon. Oh, okay. Well, as you guys have seen it, it's, wow. it's not even coming up. No, it's not. not seen it. Yeah, it's yeah. Simon. Yeah. Now. Right. That size won that. Yes. Either way, he's well. Here, I, I can share the screen. Yeah, it's right. just, hey, it's just popped, popped up now. Yeah. There you go. Look, look at that for me. There you go. That's exactly what That's I see. Ages. So there's the bids, and there's Les. After that big comment. Yeah, same for me. That's yeah, right. uh, Les, wow. that's what we see. Must be some kind of lag because I put it in right out on my oh, screen. Well, right screen too, just like anyway, this. The winning bidder uh, to me is Sai Scale. Yeah, yeah. 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 You want to agree? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the same thing. There we go then. There's a weird glitch. Never had that one before. No. Right, what's next, Tim? Uh, we have Les and his uh, Academy 35T. Oh, do you want to show that? Okay, hold on a second here. Let me put this... Uh, whip, it out. whip it out. Whip it out. Whip it out. Let me see if I can get that on the desk there where everybody can see it out. Go forward a bit. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. That's it. All righty. So, what we have here is the Academy uh, Panzer Kampflagen uh, 35T. Uh, it's 135th scale. I believe it came out in around 2012 or so was when 
uh, this one happened here. So uh, we'll go ahead. If you let me get set up here, we'll start the bid at uh, a pound on this one here. Yep. Okay. But give me a second so I can set myself up. Postage costs. Okay, sorry. Yeah, postage cost. I'm going to quote uh, 20 uh, across the pond, and I'm going to quote for uh, Americans uh, $15. Now, if there's a difference in any of the prices, uh, if it's too much, then I'll refund whatever's uh, due. Yeah. And uh, if there's if it's over, then you guys will have to cover the rest. I, I would say that you should be able to post that to UK less than 20 quid. But yeah, I would think so too. That's the, that's the last time. That's, but yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, last time I felt bad. Uh, a couple of the guys ended up having to pay a lot more. Uh, it was for the heavier kids, obviously. But, and then on top of that, poor Carl got stuck with uh, bad and customs. And, yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay, okay. The deal he thought he was going to get, let's put it that way. So for Les's Pants Comp 135, uh, take we uh, are we ready, Les? I, I will be in a second. Hold on, I gotta type this out. Okay, yes, it starts at a pound. I am ready. Okay, dokie, in three, two, one, go. Bam. Hang on, no, stop. Oh. I somehow put an hour. What? <clears throat> I, put, I put an hour. Anyway. Oh, God. That's all right. Go on. I knew you meant to I just clicked an hour back, so it was an hour and three minutes. <laughs> we can just count down audibly, can't we? It's time. Don't know. Anyway. All right. <laughs> that was close. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Good what skills with that. What I said is fine. With that left hand coming to the rescue. <laughs> All right. Come on, someone's got a bid on this. Taking their fancy assault tonight, isn't it? We have a bid. There we go, RJ. Bid. RJ Pilot. Yep. RJ Pilot's in there with five. Well, I hope this time it marks it. That's kind of weird to happen last time. Hmm. Rahala's in there with six. No pound sign. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Six, yeah. yeah. As Gary Presley says, don't know where ours are at the minute, apparently. Uh, Stuff. Oh, that's a shame, Gary. Yeah. That's all right. Go collect it tomorrow. You'll be all right. Where'd you order from, Gary? Is that off Nicky? Well, there's a delay, isn't there, with Nicky now? Uh, only, only for certain areas. Is it? Oh, right. I put a post up before uh, regarding yeah. delays. Right. So if somebody's not paying attention. What kit is it? It's that one there on the screen. The Academy 35th scale. Uh, Panzer, Panzer 35T. Yeah. yeah, if you're, uh, I know for on, on my Apple here, if I press the Alt and then 3, uh, the pound sign will come up. Yeah. If you just do uh, GBP afterwards, you'll be fine, or P. Yeah, I was about to say, ours is on, over here, ours is on the on number 3 on the Mac keyboard. I did, um, That's yeah, Control 3. Not Alt 3, Shift 3, sorry. You got a minute, and so we're at six pounds. You sure about that, Ivan? Yeah, I'm finally sure. Please get some more bids on this. You've, you've finally figured out what the shift key is for now, have you, Ivan? Caps lock every time. I'm going to say he likes caps lock a lot, does Ivan? Oh, it's a shout. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. Really? Hmm. We've got about a 10 second delay again, 11 second delay. Wow. Let me know when we're getting close. Uh, we're six quid for you, Les. You need to start putting a reserve on these, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm um, taking a Five seconds, ready, Les? Yep. Wow. All right, auction stops now. Uh, the Rahala, if you can get a hold of me on Facebook uh, under Leslie Mess, uh, message me. And uh, we'll get details sorted out, man. Yeah, I think we have to start putting your kids a bit higher, Les. You don't have much luck. No, I mean, you know, one. Well, I we have Steve Whitman put two six seven. Wow, there That's we go. Good. Well done, Steve. You've won uh, nothing. Sure. <laughs> it's a auction, not a giveaway. Yeah, you got a bargain there, Rahala. Definitely. 
Oh dear. Right, Tim, what's next? We have up next is your Fujimi Brabham. Oh. Right, so it's this. The lovely kit of that weird fan car. Um, yep. Nice little kit. It really is actually quite a nice kit. Loads of bits and bobs, some nice decals, some nice tyre decals as well in there. And it's a very nice kit. So we'll start with bin in a pound. Um, postage for that will be, um, what are we going to be? 390 UK, uh, six quid Europe, or oh, nine, ten quid USA. That's simple. Are you ready, Liz? Uh, no, not yet. Hang on, I've got to type in some stuff there. I was trying to figure out what kit that was you had. So, let's see. Fujimi BT46. It's too, uh, yeah, too early. Brabham. Well, wait. Uh, either one. Either <laughs> one, one here. Yeah. Pay attention. We'll be live. Okay, okay, I am ready. Look at the chat because silly thing is being posted. Right, we ready? Three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I think, I think it was the postage cost put people off yeah. a little bit. I would have bid on it, but nope. You might want to put it in your bid again, there, Stuart. Yeah, if he was bidding on this. Two kids oh. no sleep. You want Scott? Who wants? Eleven. Bre break that wallet, Tyler. Uh. Eleven could an Astro. Very cool car on this. We haven't looked into it. Look into the history of it. Very cool. Still with Nastro at twenty uh, eleven pounds. Sorry. Yes, you can, Brad. Yes, you yes. can, Brad. Yeah. Sue us out again. I'm gonna write all these rules down so we have got them on the bench. Mm -hmm. Oh, Derek, fifteen. Yeah, I got Derek ahead of uh, Gary there. Yeah, Derek beat him to it. Oh, why, why is there such a delay? Of <laughs> yeah, there, mu there must be a delay tonight. Yeah. I mean, that's obvious. I've never seen a chat delay like this. This is unusual. Yeah. It's, it's about 11 or 12 seconds here. <laughs> but whether people aren't live, I don't know. No, the, the chat must be really behind for people because every time Stuart's, it's, it's just something. Yeah, Stuart can't get a break. Nope. Can't get ahead. They're winning bids with Nastra at 18. Yep. Not going high. <laughs> nah, it's not high yet. Seventeen seconds. Yeah, there's a camera. Seventeen second delay. The chat should be interesting, David. Yeah, the chat, chat should be quite any quick. delay on the chat whatsoever. We're getting a, a delay. Brad's at twenty pound. Don't forget these d prices don't include postage. Postage is going to be three ninety UK, six quid Europe, nine ten quid the states. For any one pound with Nastro. One of those rare racing cars that made them change the rules. Yeah. yeah. Fan on the back. Actually stuck the thing to the deck and made it stick to the... Uh, yeah. It was clever, very clever, simple idea. Bernie, oh, I could still made the qualify on full tanks so the rest wouldn't look bad. <laughs> first race by 32 seconds. Yeah, you don't need time to call out RJ Power because the screen's never off me for long. I always put it back. So 34 seconds, 30 seconds now, and there's an 11 second delay. No need for a time call, the, the camera's never really off me. Not for long enough. No. For it to make William Bates still in Astro? Yep. And Rahal, it's Leslie Mesh Jr. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Right, we're on 10 seconds now. You ready, Liz? Uh huh. William Bates still in Astro? It's cheap for that kit as well. Auction stops now. 21. There we go. 21 with Nastro 25. What's a Lotus? Uh, Lotus, no, it's a Brabham. Yep, Brabham's. Brabham. Uh, right, so Nastro, you need to contact me either on Facebook, Paul Bretland, or the forum, Paul, and I shall sort you out some payment details. What have we got next, Tim? Uh, Brett's Hobby Boss SU17. Oh, let's go to Brett. There we go, Brett. Right here. Oh, lovely. It comes with a full load of weapons and some PE and some nice decals. Oh, Excellent. Oh. Lovely stuff. Uh, postage? It's £10 US to ship in the US, £18 to ship to the UK, and £20 not the UK. And you want to start off a pound or what do you want to do? Yeah, start a pound. Start off a pound. Okie dokie. You ready, Les? Uh, we'll be in a second. You say when. 
Okay, I am ready. Okay, dokie. Okay. Three, two, one, go. One forty-eight scale. Yeah, it's forty-eight scale. Ooh, Ooh, Ivan's in a 15. Damn. Vindo's a good kit when he sees it. Yeah. He does. Oh, he's got, um, Gary's got the HPH Tiger Cat as well. Very yeah. nice. And three Rebel P51s. With those three, you could have bought one Tammy, Gary. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit crazy. Why buy three? But hey, uh, must have three skiing shots today. Oh, David's in with 20. 20 with David. Is that Rebel One? Is that the new? Is that a new yeah. Rebel One? Yeah. Nice world of plastic. That's rich, isn't it? I think it says even more. Got the one forty five sixteen. Gonna get it on form and built. The train of it. Oh yeah, you are. That's right. Nice. Two sheets there. Cool. Tim's old school custom says hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Right in the middle of an auction, guys. So we're bidding on Brett's SU17 Fitter G. And the winner bit of the minute is with Dev Marzola, £20. And you've got a 11, 10, 11 second delay on the timer. From what I see on my screen is what you see. How many more we got to this, Tim? One, two, three, four. Eighty-nine viewers. There's a thumbs up thing there. Yeah. Watching back later yeah. on, let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Say hello. Hello. Uh, what's going on, guys? We're having an auction, Tim. Or some kits. Currently, we're just sat around doing this. And in a minute, we'll be looking at what we've all been working on. And then we'll kind of be looking at what you guys have been working on the forum and Facebook page, and so on and so forth. We've got two more giveaways to do. We've got another lot of uh, other load of auctions to do after this lot later on. Two giveaways to do. Tim does his kit releases. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I, should, I should be a five of that. I was going to say, try to stop it. I was like, ah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Pay attention to what we're doing. Graham's on his phone as well. Look. I'm reading the chat. Oh, yeah. I would, well, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Are you ready? Yep. Thumbs up. <laughs> Auction stops now. Oh, oh you had yeah. a snake there. Yeah, wow. someone got a good bargain. David got uh, an absolute bargain there. Definitely. Where do I go for the auction? You, you're here, Tim. You're watching us right now. <laughs> David. Oh, so all damn. I've got your address, David, so don't worry about it. I think you've got my PayPal, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Posters put people off. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you buy from halfway across the world, unfortunately. Yeah, you, you have, have to. Everyone, some are from the UK, some aren't. So it's just the, the way yep. it goes, peeps. It don't put me off. You can always fly over and get yourself. <laughs> you could. Oh, mm -hmm. you do. Uh, Tim, what's next? There is, I think it's my Brumbar. Two seconds, I will double check. Brumbar. It, oh, it is, yeah, it's my Dragon Brumbar. Oh, I don't know, I realise it's not sitting next to it. Two seconds. Oh! oh hang on, it's just got to go and have a mountaineer and adventure it. Oh, hello, Trish! What, what do you mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Shut this door! quick for that. <sighs> Yo. So we've got dragons. Oh. Uh, Zimmerit, uh, Brumbar, early production. You get magic tracks. You get the uh, pre-molded on Zimmerit on the outside. Lots of slide molding. Lots of plastic. This is the early. This is the proper dragon kits with the proper cards. So you get the uh, photo etch side skirts, all the details. Ooh. So I, nice built, I have built. That's a very nice kit. It yeah. is very, oh, very it's a nice. It's proper old dragon kit with yeah. a nice kit. Uh, Potions costume. Yeah. Uh, UK3. Uh, Europe. 
seven US eleven, rest of the world fifteen. There we go. And you'll start off a pound? Yeah, start a pound. Start a Let pound. Let me know when you're ready, Les. I'm ready. Okay, dokie, in three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. I'll be generous. <laughs> oh, you're generous, still. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, thanks for that, Ivan. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that you uh, took the time to. Do you have a pound sign or GPP, please, buddy? From the bed, or we're not counting them. So the current winner is Carl. Yeah, still with Carl at 20. 25, Southern Cross. Ooh. That's a. Uh, first of all, it was 23p. <laughs> but maybe it is. It could be. Is a Radu. Who's Radu? Carl? Carl. No, not in dollars. Do I in dollar? No, no dollars. No, Tim, all beds are in UK pounds, please. Minimum bid of a pound. So Southern Post, Cross is still working. Prices don't include postage. Payments due within 24 hours. All the bids are in UK pounds. So do so you you take convert that, use Google, it will convert it to UK pounds for you. Which will happen when the bids are in pounds. I'll put dollars. <laughs> So the winning bid is with Sprugu Agate at 27, is it? E correct. Yep. Yep. Never can get enough. Yeah, we've got Sprugu Spru Spru Addict at 27 at the moment for that one. And there is one minute 30 left on the clock for that. You've got about approximately a 10 second delay. And going by current dragon pricings, that could be about 70 quid if it was released. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All that yeah. stuff in it, if, yeah. If Dragon actually released anything like that anymore, yeah, their price would be ridiculous on this and stuff now. So, yeah, it's, it's a proper good... What One of the uh, the good days of Dragon with the extras in there. How much time we got left? Minutes. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. It don't, doesn't that have the rifled barrel in it as well, Tim? Yeah, plastic rifle barrel. It's not a metal one. It's a plastic one, but it's got it's got it in there. Yeah, I mean, given the length of the barrel, you don't really. <laughs> yeah, David Coat is a seventy dollar US kit. Yeah. Nine on nine, take luft balloons. Exactly, the new ones don't come fully loaded like these ones. You have 25 seconds. There's approximately a 10 second delay on the screen. Why did you just sing in German? Still with Spruko Addict. Sorry? Did you just sing in German? Yeah. I didn't realize you were bilingual. I don't know. Are you ready, Les? Oh, I will be in a second. Five seconds. Okay. Oh, is the bolt going home? Yeah, oh, I knew it was coming. 28. Oh, sorry, with 32 pound and a penny. What did you do? I'm going to say. Gone now. Just went off. Oh, I, I, I couldn't hear it. No, I didn't hear it either. Okay, got, guys, that, that got drowned out again. When it's getting close to the time, you guys got to be quiet because I couldn't no, hear it. At all. I couldn't hear that. I couldn't hear it. I didn't hear it. You were talking over it. That's why. Sorry. Well, so what is our what is our total for who won? Thirty-two Sigh, pounds. Scott the Sai. Sai got it for thirty-two. Sigh, thirty-two pound one piece. I don't know what the one piece all about. Good, yeah, good yeah. try, uh, Song Cross. Good try. Hey Cam, take care. It's next, Tim. I understand it's exciting when people do a last minute thing, but make sure that thing. I did shout five seconds to go. I, yeah, I heard you. And I was listening for it, and I couldn't. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so next up is your AMT Trans Am pool. Oh, okay. Right. So we have got AMT's 125th. <laughs> oh, okay. Trans Am. So box is a little bit creased. It's just where it's been in my stash. But this is to build the Smokey and the Bandit car. It's very unceremoniously chucked in a bag. But it is all there. The decals are there. Decals are in good condition as well. You've got all your normal bump in there, the glasses in there, the wheels, the rims, the tyres, and the instructions. Just typical US car kits, just in one bag. So we're going to start with a pound. Postage for this will be um, 390 UK, uh, 600 Europe, 
nine quid the states, maybe eight quid the states, but I can't see that going to the states to be honest. I'll be very surprised if it does. Right, let's get that where we can see it. You ready, Liz? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. Oh, change over tenner. Oh, I'm with a tenner. I'm looking at him. No, I had a massive delay then. Like, shock. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if he, if he bid a, a penny. A penny it, was, it was a winning bid regardless. 15 of Yeah, make that iconic smoke in the bandit car. All you need to do is get, get the truck on a small monkey. That truck's very hard to get, well, yeah. especially the decals for it. I think, it. I think you can get the decals, I think it's the truck that's actually the more difficult bit to get, I thought. I thought anyway. I don't know. Oh, vile shame of 17. Oops, 17. Yeah, it's 11 second delay again. 18 with Stuart. It's an iconic car, that's for sure. Nice little bit of box art as well. Yeah. I've got a few road cars that I did want to build, but I just can't seem to do them. So, it's a shame to let it go. It's just one of them. Tower back so you can see it. There you go. You're a minute 44 seconds. Winning bid is Stuart. Nice. Gary's got three of these. Excellent. You need to cut that one then, Gary. A little bit rough and ready kit, but it'll be nice trans then. Oh, show. Oh, yeah. I need to grease my chair. Can I, can I bring my chair around so you can give it a good greasing? Um, <laughs> Actually, Steve in the chat has just put me onto a, a YouTube video by somebody called, it was an interesting name, by somebody called Barnacloos Nerdgasm. Oh, God. Did you have to watch the video of how to grease a chair? Mate, I had this, I've had everything off the bottom of this chair and I have greased everything that I could find with big, thick PX7 grease and it's just still creaking. <laughs> Sounds like clickbait to me if you're sitting there trying to get something about greasing something up. But <laughs> as I'm in it. 45 <laughs> seconds, peeps, when the bids are Stuart at 18. Are you sure it's a chair and not you, Graham? Mm. Well, I just feel my creaks, I don't hear them. Mine are audible these days. Old age. <laughs> Twelve seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Market. Auction stops now. Oh. Did uh, Miles Shane get in on you guys? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, he beat Tony. Oh, lucky Tony. Do you know what? I'm still yeah. not even getting his honeys. I, I've got it there. Oh. Wow. Nice sniping, Shane. That's yeah, awesome. Oh, lucky Tony. Oh, lucky. Oh, that's, a, that's a double snipe, that is, isn't it? Yeah, that's Shane got it, yeah. 21, well done, Shane. Well done. Uh, I think you know my PayPal already, buddy. Um, so you're in the UK, so it'll be £23.90 posted, mate. And I'll get that out to you. Well done. Pet house, Tim. Uh, next up. Is we've got the Bell Kits Polo, mm. and then after that, the last one on this one is uh, the AMT Stargate Star okay. Trek. Right. Uh, oh. Now, whose polo is it? Sam's. Sam's polo. Okay. Well, this box when I bought it, it arrived a bit crumpled at this end. Okay. Yeah. Um, I did glue two parts together. One was the front axle. On the part of the subframe, and that's it. Two small parts is all I've glued together. And if I can find them, I can show you. It's a really go. nice kit. It's from me and Ivan just completed. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh. Yeah. it's now missing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the front axle was glued on to part of the sump of the subframe, and that's it. That's all was done. Hasn't been painted anything. It's a great kit. The decals are fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and it's just lovely cut all around. There you go. Right, postage. Postage. Postage UK, uh, about 350 something like that. Yeah. Europe, 
650 America, maybe a tenner, nine, ten uh, pound. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we're going to start bidding off that. You start at a pound. At a pound. Okie dokie, let us know when you're ready. I am ready. Okie dokie, in three, two, one, for Sam's Polo. Away you go. Auction okay. starts now. Yeah, Matthias, they do need thinning, definitely. Mm -hmm. Ivan's in with 15. Yeah, unless you're trying, if you're trying to pick out small raised detail, if you leave them thick, they don't <clears throat> don't run around the edges then. <clears throat> so neat model colour works well for switches and buttons in a cockpit, but for anything else, thin it down a little. Uh, winning bid is with Peter Cooper, 24, and we've been more going on there, a pound at a time. These kits are 45 pounds to buy new, they're not cheap at all. Yeah. You've been on another one, Rob? I, 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 I want to build another. Oh, okay. I really like that one. A few schemes for them, I think, isn't it? We've seen. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of different portals. No, they don't. Well, you could do, realistically, you could do any polo you want. Uh, yeah. Artistic license. Yeah. Train six for Peter Cooper. Minute mm -hmm. 44 seconds, and there is a 10 second delay. I mean, if you could find some baby sham decals, Ivan, that'd be ideal. Mm. Peach Daiquiri. <laughs> it's not Peach. Mix Berry. Same thing. It's the ladies' train. Yeah. Even Brett's cat is looking at you with disdain now. <laughs> you got stain. What? Oh dear. Disdain, not stain. Oh dear. Who's got stain? Who's got is a stain? That, is that roller cola, John? Ugh. Uh, basically, yeah. Oh. Why do mum? Why do you use your mum buy cheap cola? Roller cola. Oh. Why do I buy cheap coke? Because it just does what it says on the tin to me. <laughs> Sam, I'm gonna to, <laughs> Sam, I'm going to add the person uh, who won your Skoda to a chat because they've messaged me. That was Sai. Oh, oh yeah. Sai so won the Skoda. <laughs> okay. Yep. Make sure you add side of the message. Uh, <laughs> Nick, you didn't win a Skoda. What did Nick win? What did you win, Nick? Right, hang on, we've got 13 seconds on the timer. Keep an eye on the timer. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll give you a shout when it gets near. near. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Go for it, Les. Auction starts now. Oh! Tony! Tony! Was Tony in or out? Oh, um, out of mine. Oh, no. oh, so, yeah. hey, get right, okay. who who's won my kit so far? Let's just quickly. Uh Peter Cooper just won with what is it, twenty six? Yeah, for my kits. And that's and let's see here, and then besides that, oh that was Sam, sorry. Uh Paul, that's let's good. see here. Vile Shane won your Trans Am. Yeah. And Brabham. Yeah, the Brabham. It was uh Nastro twenty five. Uh, Nastro, I think that's you, Nick, is it? One more auction this round. Yep. yep. Uh, who won the polo? It is it's Peter Cooper. Peter Cooper. Peter Cooper. Aka Aggie Pete. Twenty-six quid. Oh. Sorry, yeah, it says sorry, the Brabham. Yeah, okay, buddy. I'll message you now in a minute. Um, bit of confusion. <laughs> right, what's next then? Les and yeah. his wonderful Stargate kit. Lovely. Star kit. Uh, okay, so let's see here. What I've got is that showing decently on the screen for yeah. everybody? Uh, yeah. This is the uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. This is the USS Defiant. It's a 1 450 or uh, 420th scale kit. Uh, came out, I believe, 2014. And uh, good luck finding it.
Yeah. Okay. Earlier this week, when I was looking at prices, I think on Wednesday night, I found uh, one for thirty-six U.S. dollars, and that was for the box. Wow. Yeah, the box. Wow. Now postage. Uh, postage, because this is a larger kit and it is a bit heavier. I'm going to say for the uh, Europe, UK, it's going to be twenty-five pounds, uh, and then for U.S., will probably be twenty U.S. dollars, uh, and that's what I'm going to guess that at. And I will start a minimum bid of ten on this one. Are you sure you want that to start? I would start a bit higher, Les. Well, I'm I'm gonna just we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I'm gonna say ten. Really? Okay, then, buddy. Right. Okay. Put the screen back. You ready? Can you see that? You ready? Yep. Let me know. Three, two, one, go. And auction starts now. Les is defiant. Let's go higher. Oh. Brett wants that one. Yeah, we're going Brett wants it. Brett wants that one. Oh, I, I love the deflation. Yeah, not as much as Dan does. Dan wants it. Dan just Holy crap, I'm going to confuse this Dan. Dan That's drops it and throws it over his way. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, my key. Boom, boom, Dan. Boom, boom. <laughs> There's Brett. <laughs> Yeah, that's got to be the coolest uh, ship out. I thought it was pretty. I thought I'm, I'm still partial to the Toss Enterprise, but I do like the look of this one. Yeah, yeah, I've always liked the Defiant. It was basically an engine with a massive weapons array and then a small bit for some crew. Uh oh, yeah. are the pilots getting in the mix? Sorry to interrupt, Les. What did that bribe himself for? Uh, let me see here. The Bravo sold to Nastro twenty five for twenty one. Twenty one. Yep. We know your wife will kill you, Carl, but that's all right. We'll have the kit. I'm surprised you're still alive after the last one, Carl. <laughs> King Dan wants to be in it. In I'm it. feeling some sniping coming on. Oh. Between you and RJ Pilot, yeah, you lot are going to have to uh, sort yourselves out. No. Yeah, it's, it's, this could come, to, come down to the end of it. Who's going to put in the highest one right at the end? <laughs> Andreas. <laughs> well, make me come to Norway, Andreas. <laughs> you, you should all just not bid anymore and just let, let it for Andreas. I want there. Yeah, yeah, Andreas, you have it. <laughs> just, just to be that little annoying. Go back to making snow, you Norwegian. Yeah, don't you have work to do? <laughs> hmm. He probably is working right now. <laughs> right, so you've got 50, 48 seconds left. There is a 10 second delay, 10, 11 second delay. <laughs> if Andreas is working, he won't be able to snipe. Uh, exactly. Either that or he will, and some poor uh, caribou is going to get ran over. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I squished it and put it under the snow. <laughs> Don't eat the red snow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've always got to make it a bit more disgusting. Sam, I'll we'll put you in a chat with Peter Cooper. No problem. Do us a favor, people. Try, if you can, try and find the people yourselves. Don't keep messaging me. Message me if you have to. Oh, let's. Oh, 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 stops now. Because I end up with like 4 million messages. Brett got it. Brett got it. 53. Holy crap. You guys are oh, crazy. Dan, you're well out. Dude, what's happening there, Dan? Good skills, Brett. Don't worry, Dan. I got caught off guard, too. Right. I'll just pick it up next time I come down, Les. Get off, Les, locked in. That is that, that's undone for that first one. Yeah, okay. So there we go. It's the first load done. Well done, Tim, one at one. Um, Les. Les. What's that? I'll just pick it up next time I see you. Okay, that's fine. Let me I'll pay for it now and pick it up when I see you. Let me try to figure out. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, sorry. I'm mumbling to myself. I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do uh, for this first round while you guys are doing other stuff, I'm going to go ahead and uh, write out this yeah. first one. Yeah, if you put that in the chat, that'd be great because we can get cracking on that. I'm gutted. I like that then. Everything froze. Oh, oh no. no. Damn. Okay, okay, so there we go. This is our first load of auctions. We'll be back later on. We've got another load to do in a bit. Uh, right now, we're going to have a quick look at what we've been working on this week. And then Dan's going to have a look around the forum and Facebook page and what 
you have been working on as well. So let's start with Graham. Hello. Hello. <coughs> uh, switch my camera around and I will show you what I've been doing. Uh, I'm learning. There we go. God, Graham's section doesn't half go on a bit, does it? Magic. Oh, give over. Picking on the new boy look. Right, there we go. So I'm still working on this lovely little um, ICM Polycarp of I-16, 132nd. Uh, still a little bit undecided about the final scheme that I'm going to go for, but it's going to be something to do with grey. Um, this has been an absolute lovely build. I've really enjoyed it. Hardly any filler needed. A little bit down here. And that was about it, really. Although I, I did fill in these two panel lines. And then realized that, well, I didn't realize. Paul told me that they actually should be there. So I sanded them all down and then scrubbed them back in. Yep. Um, so, yeah, lovely kit. But that's all that I've been working on. Well done. Nice work, Graham. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Right, so who's next? Uh, Brett and his cat. Yeah. I'm working on this one to one cat right here. <laughs> I got to put some LED lights into it, but other than that, it'll be almost done. I finished my I-16 because mine's 48 scale, so it was a lot smaller and quicker build. I like it. It's a nice little ICM kit. Yeah, it looks good. Went together really well. Used um, ammo of MIG Russian green. Decals went down nice. It's really good. I'm glad Paul thought of that one because I wouldn't have built it for a while. Good. I'm also doing a video build of the... Um, 72nd Air Force, 8th Air Force B-17. And I've been working on the P for the seats, which is about 10 P parts just for the seats. Nice. First yeah. part of that video went up showing pretty much how to do this. Yeah. But it's been fun and nice. I'm having a good time. Excellent. Brilliant. So those are the two I've been doing. Got work on the I-16 as well. Thank yeah. You. Hello. I've been working on a bag of crisps at the minute, but um, <laughs> I've been working on that. So I don't want to get my greasy paws all over it. I'm gonna let me just wipe my fingers. That's looking yeah. fine, man. Um, all the base colours are on now, uh, and a bit of weathering and chipping and whatnot here and there. But there's still got tons to do. Let me just see if I can see if I can pop that top off. It were. Is that all done with those swanky paints? Yeah, some I'll show them a bit later on. Uh, but it well, all bar in the yellow. The yellows I weren't buying a potty paint for you know a sum of money and painting four little dabs on it. But yeah, um, it's done. There's a bit of weather in. There's a crap ton more to do. Born on a treat. Oh. Make. Sounds like it has. Um, lighting, yeah. That's going to be it. Fake we have, Oh, we can have one of those evenings, aren't we? Uh, big leg out. Yeah. Bye, oh. leg down. <laughs> I think he was done, yeah? Uh, he is now. He's he now. Lance. <laughs> Alrighty. You know, I have so been... Oh, turn a bit. Hello. Oh. Are you back? Oh, no, don't tell me it's going to be one of them nights. Yes, it's lagging out. Lag tenant, then. Oh. <laughs> it's just good. I apologise. Where did you hear me to? Well, uh, I was I was you know, about where you were going. Yeah. 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 It's got, yeah. It's all. It's all painted with them fancy paints that I will show you later, and the lights are going to be interesting because I've got to weather it first, and yeah, to marry the two up, I've got to keep replacing it to look at it to make sure it's matching, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it, and if anybody's building one of these, you only use the Bandai painting guide as a rough guide because it's highly inaccurate and very pants, just saying, but yeah. You need to have some proper reference material if you are painting it of any size. I don't care what you know what I mean. It's a good kit, but the instructions or the painting instructions are a bit. Mm. But yeah, that's so what I've on. that's what I've been working on. Excellent. All right, sorry, let's carry on. 
No, no, no. I just uh, making sure. Now I've been busy uh, working a lot. I haven't had really time for much at all. So unfortunately, I haven't gotten anything go uh, done on my uh, Deadpool figure. As a matter of fact, with my work schedule like it is now, I might have to rethink doing my step by step build and just kind of like start building and just doing updates. Otherwise, I'll never get it done. Yeah. Um, what I have had a little time to work on is uh, my Rommel's rod. I've just got been doing cleanups on parts and uh, got engine assembly. That's so I mean these parts are ready for primering. And painting, but this is really all that I've been doing uh, with this. I just I've been working twelve to sixteen hour days, uh, six and seven days a week. So I just have not had the time. I, I, mean, I haven't I even have, haven't had the time to come in and hang out with the guys. I would have seen you. So yeah, it's just been one of those things. But hey, you got to pay the bills, you know. Yeah. So yep. Unfortunately, that's all I've been working on. No worries, Liz. Ivan. Hello. Right. Well, I thought I did, but I actually haven't. I actually never showed the fact that I finished my polo. Oh. I never showed it. So can't, I finished. Can't remember I did. <coughs> uh, last week, when you said I don't know if I showed it or not, and people said, "Yeah, you haven't actually shown it yet." Oh. Um. So I finished the Belkitz polo. Nice. Fun build. Interesting decals, but with solver set does help a lot. So uh, I have finished. Once you have solver set, those decals. Yeah. Are... I finished this. The back wheel's still a bit uh, one kit, but yeah, I finished that. Use two K on it. Uh, this was the kit that all the guys got me with the respirator and two K in the paints. Great build. It was actually fun in the end. Just starting it, I was a bit like, Meh -meh. but no, glad I got it done. So that is that. The cracking job on that. I thank you. Great. Uh, this one's quick, so I'll just show it. Uh, I got one of my figures painted in um, the the thing. Go um, on. Z Z Zenithal. Yay! I nearly said Xenomorph shading. Um, so I got him ready for paint. He, he, he looks like that, so that looks cool. And obviously for Paul's Christmas ICM, I6, it doesn't have to be IC, ICM, but the I16 buddy build, uh, I am up to here with mine. So it is actually nearly done. We're getting places. Um, still need to put canopy on and do the underside for the uh, landing gear and stuff. That's all over there painted in that little tub. But I've tried to go quite weathered. Uh, I've not gloss coated it or anything. It's the first time I've actually finished a plane. Finished. Done a plane without any clear coats of any sort. Uh, to differentiate mine from the rest, I've seen one that does have white stripes on the wings. So I put them on, chipped the living hell out of them with her spray. And then did what Paul did with his decals and put a bit of masking tape on it and just ripped it back off. Um, I did the hair spray thing with the prop as well. So it's metal under, underneath and then painted tire black and then chipped with a toothpick. Hmm. Uh, so that is not glued on. Um, that is where that is. So nearly finished on this. Excellent. And it's been a bloody brilliant kit. Yeah. So that is me. Lovely stuff, I think. Oh, lovely stuff. Not my words. Sam. Oh, me, right. You said not to disturb you, but I knew you were going to be doing this section. The decals for the Alpha. Yeah, oh! I'm working on. Have they gone all right? Down like a dream. Oh, you son of a... That's, that's just with using water and some a little bit of set and saw. So I'm going to let them go down for another hour or so, and then I'm going to hit them with some solve set. The bed I'd have to buy. Sure. And they've got, they've got over those front arches, no problem at all. No problem whatsoever, mate. Well, no, no, no. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty pissed off. I'm sure you are. But never mind. <laughs> but no problem. They go down a drain. Okie dokie. No I problem. Buy another one. Uh, Peter, it's a Lancia, not an Alpha. All oh, right, sorry, Lancia. Yeah, Delta. Yeah, we, we know what you mean. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so I can buy one. I need to find one for sale. God damn it. I'll explain my calamity in a minute. But yeah, thanks, Sam. Glad they work, mate. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They do, they do work. Proper noise. Sorry, mate. Hang on, I'm getting mathered by Hannah now. So right over to John. Right, uh, well... Hang on, have I missed somebody else? No, Sam, have you gone for your current builds as well, yeah? You happy with that? Yeah, that, that's what I've been working on. Oh. I was just waiting on the decals. Nope, they're out today. Over to you, John. Right, well, I've finished off the... Uh, get it a bit closer. Tamiya 148 Matilda. Little infantry tank from World War Two, very nice kit. And I made a start on the figure 
the Clever Hunter from Nuts Planet. And he's mainly just base coated with a few washes. Nice. Plenty of dry brushing and more washing and glazing to go. And then I started on the Academy Hawker Hunter as well, which I think I was starting to build last week. That's really nice. And there we have that in the training scheme. The red, white, and silver. So, yeah. And I'm actually putting all of the uh, stencils on this one. Before anyone makes a joke. It's a rarity. <clears throat> Yeah, Although, it shouldn't that have been grey? Hey, all. John, shouldn't that have been grey? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, depends on <laughs> depends on which photograph or uh, colour drawing you look at. <laughs> can, I, can I just say there that Norman set upon a good point? I don't need to know anything about putting decals on. This is Sam McCord on Facebook. <laughs> That's Sam McCord <laughs> on Facebook. Sam McCord on Facebook. Any of your decal questions, painting. I'll get me assistant there, answer it. <laughs> and yes. Hello. Are you about a quiet mister? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hannah walked in, so I have to mute because no, right. can't talk for some reason. <laughs> uh, and I was muted because I've been rifling through tubs trying to tidy up still. Oh, cool. so, right, what have I been building? So I thought I might as well come and bring you. Oh, I just show off his shelf now. Ooh, yeah. yeah. All right. Built it. It'd be Please great when you get through puberty. Look, I've got beard growth. Look. Oh, yeah. something. That's, oh, that's oh, very, that. very that's ginger. That's disgusting, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. So this is what I've been working on. Fuck like Homer. Help. You can come to Colorado and get that fixed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is what I've been working on, this thing here. Uh, that's yeah, taken yeah. up pretty much all my time. But now I've got my desk area all built up and I can start working. Good, Jim. I can actually do some work in here, which I'm really actually looking forward to. You might finish your kit this year. Yeah, I will. I hope, I'm, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping I can try and get the balls. The crotch. Oh, hello. Um, oh, I'm a bit down here. I hope you try and get the uh, Audi done in over the next week. What about little? <laughs> Don't confuse him, Ivan. <laughs> just enough brain power to process getting through this bit. Leave him alone. He's got a long day at work. He's eating everything in the house. He's probably. Like, oh. <laughs> the way you slip in all crouch down like that, you look like a little boy. You don't have to tell him. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry, sir. sorry, sorry mum. I didn't mean to swear. Your, your desk looks very nice. Yeah, it does look good. Too. It yeah, it's it's been a long time, and my brain is so fried. It's got lots of room for for uh, Vallejo paint now. I tell you what, if you uh, would have heard the words coming out of my mouth today when I realised I ordered the wrong stuff, I was Hello. Like, you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh, I would have. I would have had to pay a lot of fibers if I was on the show. It, I was not impressed with myself. Yeah. I, my, my Trish is telling me to do things literally within a minute. I've totally forgotten what she was talking to me about. And she's like, are you going to do that? I'm like, do what? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be so glad when I can sort of stop working on this and just start using it now. Nice. Excellent. I'm looking good, mate. Looking Thank you, guys. Thank good you. Ah, well. oh, right, we're just start. Right, same as Ivan. Uh, Bell Kids Polo. Good little kit. Um... Enjoyed the build to a degree. Finishing 2K, painted in the proper colours for it. Decals are lovely, but you do need solver sets. Whoever bought Sam's kit before, you will need a strong set and solution to get them down. But once you do that, they go down. No problem at all. Nice little kit, striking scheme, but made me realise I don't really like modern day rally cars. I prefer the old school ones. So, my next build after that was the Lancia Delta that Sam is building now. Uh, me and Sam decided to build them together. I had the Martini one, Sam had the Repsol one with knackered decals. <coughs> I bought the Shunko aftermarket decals for mine, thinking they'll be better. <coughs> oh, no, they weren't. Uh, but sadly, in the meantime, I posted my kit decals off to Sam so he could build the same car. 
And literally, upon putting my decals on the front wing, uh, they cracked. Just cracked yeah. on. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that was it. And in a fit of rage, after several other bits decided to collapse and fall to bits, I crushed the kit and the shell is now in the bin. So my plan of action then was see how Stan gets some of the kit decals. If they lay down, I'll buy the kit again and rebuild it. But I'd literally only done uh, the body shop because I had a feeling those decals were going to be murder. So the Shunk- Shunko decals let me down really badly. 17 quid aftermarket decals. Um, I, I'd very rarely break kits, but this one really pissed me off. Um, and yeah. yeah, usually you're, you're able to. Yeah, see, that, that says something. Oh, no, it did my head. And so crunch in the bin. See you later. Anyway, so next up, I thought I'll build this, <laughs> which is Tamiya's Worth Capri. Um, I'll show you the box art now. So this is my 40th birthday present off my mum. Uh, it is that one right there. Lovely skin. Nice. Very nice. It's all Zach Speed Capri. And it came with a rather nice Studio 27 detail set as well, which I won't be using all of, but I'll try and use as much as I can. And literally, I am at the body shell stage. All the seams have been dealt with. Um, the parting put on, put on the spoiler, etc. on the back. It's been primed in UMP white primer and then sprayed in four diamond white. Now, I've no idea that's a correct color, but it's what I went for. Um, so tomorrow it can be all the high spots taken off and we can crack on with decal and hopefully the decals will go down okay on this one because I believe they are cartographed. Hopefully they'll go down well. So I'm going to put that down there. And for my poly carp off buddy build over Christmas, which you started not even, I think it's about a week ago. This is my build, very nearly done. Um, again, as we're all building the same kit, this is ICM's 132nd kit. Um, and to try and differentiate them a little bit, I um, decided to just to wreck the decals a bit. So I got the 27 on the back, took most of it off as if it's been a re- repurposed, reused aircraft. That's the same on both sides. Chip some of the stars on the side, the wings, and on the tail. Painted it with Tamiya paints, did the usual mottling, fading. It was primed in black, uh, did post shading, post fading, etc. Once that was all done, I then come in and use UMP Algae Wash, this one, our new one, and put that on the absolute matte paintwork, and then scrubbed off as much as I could, and it's left quite a nice mottled strange effect mm-hmm. uh, now we're also still using mig ammo panel line wash in there and where that's dried it does stain a tiny bit it's showing it's really dark that there on camera looks massively shaded and in real life it's actually not well there isn't there so the camera does exaggerate shading quite a lot but the green i'm very happy with how that's come out it seems to be a little bit of weathering underneath that's been done uh with paint uh, again, it's completely over exaggerating it. It's not that bad in real life. A um, little bit of weather underneath. I've got the landing gear, the prop, the screen to put on. And we're done. Like I said, did I kind of regret not picking something a little bit more technical? Yeah. You know, it's a very simple kit. It goes together really well. Um, and I'm glad, as mm-hmm. always, that they're all going to look different, which is good. Because uh, that's a bit of a variety. But it's a lovely little kit. So you want to try a 30 second scale kit you've never built on before, look at my review, and then buy this because it's a cracking little kit. Really is good. I'm very happy with that paintwork. It's turned out just how I liked it. Using my new Sotar 2020, the guys bought me for my birthday, which is a lovely airbrush. Very, very yeah. nice. So there we go. That's what we've all been working on. So I'm going to go over to Dan. And whilst he's loading up, I'm just going to scan these comments quickly. Back on. Oh, God, that goes well back. Someone saying hello. Yeah, Tim keeps his hammer ready. There you go. So, Jones, would it be worth the 30 GB to get the <coughs> my Tamiya Alpha port? There's actually a bigger set for the Alpha that comes with the engine and everything. I've got it for one of mine. Uh, have a look for that one. No, I'm not going to crush this one, Gary, or hopefully not anyway. <laughs> oh, I can't get the shoes set for you, Capri. Why not, Pete? They don't make it anymore. With the fade effect. Thank you, guys. I didn't black base it. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> and that's it. Love you, and cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Right. Over to Dan. Hello. Hello. Hello, Dan. Hello. Uh, <coughs> is that sharing now? Yes, Dan. I'm going to 
what mm-hmm. I plan on doing this week is I'm going to try and speed through it just in case my internet lags me out again. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try and rip through them pretty swift. Don't tell me it's already started lagging. No, just nobody's talking to you. Can someone reply to Dan when he talks? Um, Sorry, Dan. Yeah. That's so, I did. That's so I did. hard. I can hear you fine, Dan. Dan. Uh, yeah, but you're all muted, yeah. so you can't answer. Oh, you're good, Dan. <sighs> yep, looks fun. Uh, we're going to start with Colorado. Four, five. <laughs> Uh, Brad in Col- uh, no, he's not in Colorado. He's where else? Um, where's that? VA, Vancouver. Uh, oh, he's in uh, Virginia. Why? Why doesn't it say Virginia then? Mm-hmm. VA is in Canada. Canada. That says Canada. Right? Uh, to me, uh... are you Uncle Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who, Dan? <laughs> No, no. Uh, painted on deck rain pigments. Brad's from the States. How's it going to be Vancouver? I don't know. I don't know who Brad is. Uh, Dan, you're yeah, lagging. Pilot like... dude. It's pilot dude. Dude. Oh, is that pilot dude. I didn't know. God almighty. You mean that like Nearly pilot dude, bro. Di- sorry, pilot dude, bro. You're down, but you're back. You're back, Dan. Which, which bit did, did you not get? Any of it. Any of it. Uh, this is Brad Dude, anyway. Aurora 145 again. Uh, and he's building a Tamiya one thirty five. Faster, faster. Well, I'm trying, Tim. I'm trying. One thirty fifth, T thirty four seventy six, the Chills version, uh, nineteen forty three production. Uh, it's primed in UMP grey and black. It's painted in Model Masters Russian arm of green. Uh, small bits in the Tamiya acrylic range. Is weathered it with Vallejo pigments and environmental effects Russian mud. Nice. Uh, it's completely out of the box for fun. Uh, quick build overall, pretty good kit. Consider considering it's from 1975 molds, uh, is recommended it, uh, to those starting to dabble in armor. And he hopes everybody wins the Black Friday Fight Club, which was last week, but we'll gloss over that. Ooh. Uh, El Capitan next, uh, he's not been very productive recently, uh, but he's made a stand on uh, for his Kitty Hawk Jaguar. Uh, it's used a piece of 5mm acrylic rod and a small MDF shelf from a CD cabinet. Uh, it's going to cover it with uh, PVA and sand to finish it off. It also may move the rod further forward uh, on the basis it looks a bit far back to him. Maybe. A little bit. Uh, the Nordus is next. Uh, and he's been working on uh, a Tamiya 135th scale BT42. Uh, he's open tender into a competition in the week. Uh, he's used Vallejo dark green from the Soviet World War II camo colors uh, for the green and Tamiya rubber black for the tires. Uh, the re- recoil compensator muzzle brake was painted flat black. Tracks were painted in dark track by MIG. Uh, he's applied mm. some. Uh, liberal amounts of uh, different earth toned pigments on the hull uh, before gluing the tracks together, and he's also used uh, Tamiya panel liners for pin washers and to fix the pigments. It's nice one, not bad at all. Uh, and this, I like this one, this one's really, really different. This is Paul Lloyd, uh, and this is his first proper post to the forum. Uh, and he normally does aircraft, but, but he's been working on something a little different for a couple of months now. Uh, and this is a, a complete scratch built drum kit uh, to go with three futuristic robot resin kits from the Walter Pizzali, uh of Japan. Uh, Virgil on guitar, Stan on bass, and Vincent on drums. Uh, all the drums made from plastic card and evergreen styrene, uh, plus some stub wire from the florists uh, for the legs and stands. Uh, it's currently primed in Mr. Surfacer Primer 1500 uh, with the symbol sprayed with alkali brass. Uh, still some fishing work and painting to do. Uh, he's hoping to have these done this coming week uh, and then making a double base for Stan. Uh, Virgil's uh, Gretsch guitar is completed, but we'll include that in a later post. 
happily model, happy modeling all four. And I do cool. like that. That is quite cool. Mm. That is cool. It's out of the box or not. Totally different. Uh, Mountaineer modeler next. Uh, and he's uh, not been able to post for a while, but he's had uh, some time over Thanksgiving. And here is his progress on his uh, Rebel Airbus EC-145 German Medivac helicopter. Primer, EOP, of course. Uh, and paint is planning on going for a metropolitan police scheme uh, using petting house decals. Uh, thanks for doing the show. Uh, I look forward to it every week. Thank you very much. I do like that. That looks good. Ooh, yeah, good. Uh, yeah. John MW, uh, he's been working on this uh, Revell Aces Wild Chop for the past week. Uh, he's had the key in his stash for years and thought it could be a good quick build as a break from aircraft. Uh, he's chopped the backbone of the frame to lower the steering a bit and also a bit more rake to it. Uh, the tank has also been lowered uh, over the frame as they didn't like it. The big empty space between the front cylinder and the tank. Uh, he started painting all the non chrome parts. Uh, and for this, he's used uh, MR paint chrome uh, as a base and then layered a lot of coats of Badger Minitaire Ghost Tip Purple. Good color. Uh, this gives it a really deep color. It almost looks black except where the light hits it. Uh, the rest will be painted in alkali chrome and polished aluminium. Coolio. I like that. Uh, Tommy Calander next. Uh, and he's building a Hobby Boss 172nd Grumman F9F Panther. It's almost complete. Uh, just final, final assembly left to do. Uh, is that our time making up his mind if he should use the uh, Gunzi H55 Midnight Blue or Tamiya XF17C Blue? But in the end, he decided to use the XF17. Uh, the decals are from Print Scale. It's very blue. Uh, and this is Dr. Sprue next. Uh, and this is first. Uh, proper post to the forum uh, for the live show. It's a historic rocket that launched uh, the first US satellite uh, that he's been working on for the Space Final Frontier SIG. It's the 148th Jupiter C rocket by Glencoe Models. Uh, came about 20 years ago. So far, he's given its history in the SIG. Built most of the kit and even put a small electric motor he got from his collection of electronic stuff. Uh, and no, he's not going to try and fly it. Mm. Uh, the real one had electric motors to turn the Explorer on satellite that is mounted to the top uh, at a rate while countdown was commencing to get it ready for stabilization into our space. Uh, you can see it spinning in the real launch sequence. Uh, here it is below the motor at the lower left. Uh, is at the engine area and connects to the drum up to where Explorer 1 is through a small 1 8 inch shaft. Uh, most of the parts uh, are stuff from his lab, so nothing was purchased, including the base at the bottom right uh, that the rocket sits on. It's a, a modern box from an old computer, uh, and he hopes to have the wires painted uh, with a primer, white and black acrylic paints. And then decal it soon before the end of December. But it does look good though, if you know, I can't read and show you a picture all at once, but it does yep. look good. There's the bottom, there's the top. Yep, there's the bottom, there's the top, there's the bottom, there's the top. Uh, if it's any interest, it says it's a foot long shaft uh, from an old uh, model rocket launcher and the motor from an old audio tape deck uh, that it's took apart. Launching flight and rockets has been a big part of his history, and he now is making more realistic static ones. Cool. I like that. And I do believe there should be another one on the second page. Scott, two kids, no sleep. Another spacey, rockety type arrangement. Uh, and he's building uh, an academy space shuttle uh, and some extra touches for the tower. 
uh, and launch pad construction is mental is what it is it's mental uh god it would suck to have to build scaffolding towers all the time yes it does suck sometimes uh actually it was quite fun and he's used uh, a wooden alignment jig and got the angle bit uh the paint we see is all your mp and he's working out on sorting the diorama base with styrofoam and cardboard but yeah that looks yeah excellent and all that bearing in mind is scratch built by eye and photos mm -hmm. And Valium. Oh, somebody else has snuck on, look. Uh, and this is Four Eyed Keeper, apparently. Uh, and he's got a few on the go at the mo. Uh, but we'll be turning all of the attention to getting this mass prime and pre shaded this weekend. Uh, it's a Talieres 172nd AC130H Spectre. Uh, it's going to be a wheels up build. We'll be shown on a base mount with a create acrylic rod eventually. He's just yet learning how to use his new airbrush, so he's going to it's going to give plenty of practice. That one, definitely. Oh, that's belting. That's the end of the forum, and I've not fell off the internet yet, so we're all good. Whoop, whoop. Straight into face ache and the mad Norwegian, Andreas Scar, <laughs> uh, and he's halfway done now with his kinetic SU thirty three and forty eighth scale. Uh, He's used Hacker Acrylics, uh, Edouard Big Ed, Bergamont full set of decals, and Master Barrel Pito Tubes. It'll look all right once he's got it painted. What were you raised by Bob Ross and a raccoon? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Andreas, see, he pays attention to what happens on pitch, doesn't he? Some guy over here. And Barry Reese next. Uh, and this is his Tamir's. 135th King Tiger oh, with Emer uh, with Edward Zimmerit and Floral Tracks primed in UMP Black, then to me XF60 Dark Yellow and XF64 Red Brown. It's very tanky. Yes, King Target. I like this one too. Uh, Gilbert Mondragon. Mm. Oh, go on, uh, go on. He started blocking out uh, in the base coats to both of these games workshop pieces. Uh, he used Steinle Res, of course, to prime. Uh, the big fella is the ever chosen, and the smaller dude is the bloodthirster demon of corn. Yay! I'm just going to say cool. Yeah. yeah. So I was watching watching Gil paint that live the other night, and yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. See, I've been falling asleep a lot, and I've missed a hell of a lot on Facebook just past this this past week. It's been bonkers. Oh, hello. A car man not building a car. Gary Constable next. Uh, and he's looking to finish off his Airfix 148 Meteor F8 uh, this week. Uh, mainly the dec decals left. Nice quick build. Uh, prime for the first time using UMP Black Primer. Uh, seriously impressed. Possibly the best he's ever used. Uh, grey and green are Gunsy acrylics and the aluminium underside is Vallejo metals aluminium. Great kit, no hassle so far. Very nice work, Gary. It is a nice kit as well. Peter Cooper next, uh, and he's getting the decals on his Nissan Silvia ready for the 2K diamond clear uh, when his apex arrives. You'll like that. Not a lot. Uh, it's a Fujimi kit. It's painted it using Tamir acrylics and Eccles spare from the Rocket Bunny Toyota. Uh, carbon detail on the bonnet, spoiler and rear diffuser. Should be finished this week. Or last week. Or this week. Nice. One will, one will never know. Scott Shaw next. Uh, and he just wanted a fun and easy build. Uh, he's painted this one as opposed to the B17 last week. Uh, Vallejo primer. And a mix of Model Master, Tamiya, and a little owl clad uh, for the guns and gloss coat. Uh, which is coming up. It's a Meng 1 1 44th HE177. It's a dinky thing. 
Andrew Morris, he's working on his first car build and it's the Mercedes AMG GT3. Uh, he's primed it with grey MP primer and he's just waiting for his zero paints colour and 2K to arrive. I do believe we're going to be seeing that again. Mm -hmm. Carl Parker next. Uh, this is man, man covered models, isn't it? I'm sure. I'm sure my memory is. I think it is, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think my memory does serve me quite correctly. This one. That's nice, that. Uh, he's working on the Airfix 172nd Jet Provost at the main. Uh, fuselage is UMP White Primer. Uh, all the other paints are Vallejo. Very nice kit. It does look, although he has done a really nice sterling job of that, and I have I have seen the finished article, and it does look belting. It's nice that he's done a really good job. Oh, skip. Taylor Brown next. Uh, a glue bomb, 1970 Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, he's converting it into a formula. Is uh, not sure what kit it is, uh, but he knows for a fact that uh, motor. City Muscle did a release of this kit. Uh, so far, it's stripped everything apart now and converted the hood from Shaker style to Ram Air. Uh, the scoops, however, came from uh, the AMT 71 Plymouth Duster 340 kit. Cool. Cool. Loves converting stuff, he does. Yeah, he loves converting stuff. Uh, Carl Smith. <laughs> Uh, and he's started one of those magical flying aeroplane things, and it should be fun. I, I'm, I could not tell you what kit it is because it's a secret. But it's got a nice little cockpit, though. It were. Moving swiftly along to James Skiffin. <laughs> and he's been working on his Stalingrad build. Uh, the end Saturday, last Saturday. Maybe. Uh... House is made from balsa foam uh, with floor beams and flowing from balsa wood, uh, ready for ultimate primer. So head down as uh, now three days to complete. Yeah, I think that would. Yeah, we'll gloss over that. That'll look good. Uh, Tim Carsten Anderson next, and this is his Tamir 148 Sky Raider with some minor changes. So it will be a Gabonese President. Uh, presidential Guard aircraft flown by French mercenary, uh, all Vallejo paints, Humbrol clear. Uh, building the Sky Raider GB, uh, can't really go further at the time. I don't have Gabonese decals. Uh, thanks for making these most entertaining shows. Cool. Thank you for watching them. Mike McCarthy next, and he's still working on his foam ball build in 135th. I bet they're not coffee stirrers. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of work, what is that? Foam board? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Tyler Cross next, uh, and he's letting some sprue glue set uh, upon the intakes of Revell's 172nd F22. That's uh, been the only issue with gaps and poor fit. Cheers, guys. And Chris Long next, and this is his custom Sky Raider. Oh. And he did post a couple more pictures down here, but we're going to gloss over them because they just ain't got the time. <laughs> uh, John Stone next, and this is his uh, 135th Zvezda Armata, uh, UMP Black Primer and Vallejo Russian Green. Uh, metal tracks, nightmare. <laughs> A good enjoyable model to build. Uh, varnishing and weathering we'll be getting on with tonight during the program. Not sure if he's going to weather it too much. Uh, cheers, keep on gluing guys. That looks good. I keep, look I keep weathering to that quite minimal. Yeah. They're, they're, they're pretty much a prey tank at the moment. Oh, I'm going to try and pronounce this surname tonight. Are you ready? <clears throat> Are you ready? Go on. Are you ready? Are you listening? Go on. Tony chews his shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there it is. <laughs> Come on. I, do you know what? I've thought about that this afternoon and it made me chuckle and then I've been holding that in my head all evening. Okay, Q show. Yeah, that's the one, but I'm I'm just going to call him Tony Chooses. Batman back. bike. I call him Tony Oreo. Huh? But anyway, that's this is Tony O, Naked Model on YouTube, uh, and this oh. is uh, uh, his Superman bike. And yeah, it's excellent. It's a uh, Tamiya 112 Yamaha YZR M1 uh, with his marvelous twist, the Spider Man motorbike. Uh, it's primed in the MP White primer and then is used Tamiya X7 and X4 for the main colors. The decals are from Autosports Models, uh, a great set of decals, uh, but no longer being printed. Uh, they were a bit oversized, so a bit of trimming to do on the whole. Uh, great decals, top coated with Tamiya X21. That looks class. It does look really nice. Mm. It's done a nice job there. It's done an excellent job. Well, it were a one-shot wonder with them decals because they're, yeah. no, they're no long in production. Tony isn't making models, Dan. No, I said naked modeler. Oh, naked ah! modeler. Sorry. Yeah, you missus mustard put a bag in over your ears. <laughs> See, I, and that was quick thinking at this time of night. It was. Uh, Gaff Painter next, uh, and these are some uh, 148th aftermarket CMK P400 exhaust for the Air Cobra build. Uh, it's painted with a mix, mixture of Mr. Hobby Accurus Red, Red Brown, and Wood Brown to give a nice rusty appearance. Uh, then previously mentioned colours mixed with more. Uh, aqueous red and yellow to give a lighter tone in places uh, for chipping and highlights. Also giving them an uh, them a AK exhaust wash and some AK black pigments for smoke stains. That's a lot of work for some particular exhaust. Very nice. That you're only going to see tips off. And I did say tips. Very nice. But it's done well. Mike McCarthy again, and he's working on a Tacom FB 432 in 135th scale now. That looks really realistic. That looks belting, that. He's, he's got the colour spot on, hasn't he? <laughs> it will be a cracking build, I do believe. Oh, yeah, it's going to look good. Oh, we lost your picture. Oh, yeah. And Mr. James Skiffins next week. Oh, next week. Again, this week, we've already seen him from last week. Yeah, it's starting to confuse me because I'm seeing everybody twice again. It's lost in the air. <coughs> uh, work, phase one is complete. Uh, is used model color. Uh oh. Dan. Hello. Right. I'm a, I, did I disappear or? No, you're there. Cool. Even though you talk to God. He's just pissing about. Uh, I'm going to talk to God in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope he's got another eight bolts of lightning. Thunderbolt um, of lightning. <laughs> I knew that was finish. <laughs> anyway, back to James Skiffins again this week from Ooh. last week. Uh, and this is uh, House Brick. Phase one is complete and is used a various copious amounts of model color paints with a little splash of some more uh, model color for the bottom of the windows. With a and little splash. Oh, nice. That's a little. Just a little splash. A little. But yeah, he's done really well. And so that's. Rough. Yeah, that would have just done my nut in painting all that. I'd be bricking it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, no doubt he'll. Post some other pictures on ISM, but this one I like. Uh, Antonio Rodriguez next, and he's finished uh, the Dumar bust uh, in one tenth scale from Chimera Models, and it's all painted with Andrea paints. Yep. It reminds me a little bit of Elboy. Yeah. Yeah. Just a yeah. little bit. Oh, no. He's got his uh, house coat on. Yeah. His house, his, his house jacket. And here's Carl Parker again. Uh, with oh, his nice. 
One seventy second jet provost. That is so lovely. Nice. That lovely. does look really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a nice job, back off. Yeah. Good skills, man. That's lovely. And I've got to say, I've got to say that he's got the UMP white primer down. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people cry and whinge that it's spluttering and it's going down and it's pooling and it's fish iron and it's running about. Yeah. Just learn to spray it. Yes. Practice first, then just don't just go in and hose it on. But yeah, he's done a really good job there. People think it's like the black, don't they? And it's not. Yeah, and it's, it's completely the opposite. But he's got that down banging. Thank him. And Anthony Mitchell next. And this is a Ford Bronco uh, from Revelli 124th scale. He's painted it with badge paints. It's a very good kit. He's primed it silver and painted it in ghost tint blue. Cool. That's getting quite popular now, that silver with ghost tint on top, isn't it? Yeah. I will show this quick picture of John Sharps, but it's only going to be a three second shot because it should be grey. No. <laughs> <laughs> did you see what I did there? No. <laughs> and Mr. Adam Challenger of Challenger Scale Models fame. Uh, and he's got three different cars on the bench this week. Oh, uh, shit. Will... Nice tidy picture. And it will be four next week when uh, it starts the new Tamiya Mercedes. Oh. Lovely. 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 Mercedes is coming. Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, William Ebow next, uh, and this is his uh, RFM Tiger, uh, it's the less expensive Berg Tiger kit converted to 503rd, third company, early division, uh, has used Ava Fenders and the Dragon Coppola, uh, were the only extras needed already for UMP Primer. Please. Just quickly then, are you giving like, yourself a mild shock on your nipples every now and then? No, what I'm trying to do is hold the burps in because I'm still drinking. I'm drinking. Oh, no, I thought it like a... yeah. <laughs> was like you with a mild shock to your nipple. <laughs> no, I could do it though. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I'm just a flashback to some of that scene that could go on Facebook and I'm not going to explain that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mitchell next. Uh, oh, here you are. Here you are. Uh oh. The cable uh, connector. <laughs> uh, Michael Benjamin Mitchell next. Uh, and this is TIE Fighter. Uh, the fuselage is all assembled and painted in to me X10 gunmetal. Uh, it's all, almost done with it. You can definitely see a lot of the interior through the wide open cockpit area. Complete. And a couple more shots just down below, just for yeah, just um, for shots. Yeah, something about South Park. <laughs> and Snow Wolf, that's a wicked name. I've got to say, that's a cool name. But apparently, it's Southport Steve. Yeah, it's our Southport Steve. Even cooler name. Uh, and this is what he's been up to as well as working on his model yeah. room. Yeah, uh, that's an excellent background. Yes, a very, a very excellent background. Well, I love that background. That's lovely. Love that toothbrush. Yeah. Teeth. Is that your bathroom? Teethbrush. Ultimate modeling bathroom stuff. <laughs> <laughs> move along. Let's move along because this is going downhill. Uh, and this is 135th uh, Meng World War One Mark Four female tank uh, that he won a couple of weeks ago, and she's ready for paint. Excellent. Uh, when he buy it, when he buys it, also bought some figures from. Uh, Stalingrad miniatures to go along with it. Yep. Uh, the plan is to do his first ever dio with a sorry no po no posts on the forum as he's building a couple of kits while building his model room just to keep them sane. Awesome. Not a problemo. And the last one of the e evening, thank Christ, uh, is Andrew Morris. I told you we'd see this again, and it looks very excellent. That mm -hmm. looks excellent. And he's been working on his Mercedes AMG GT3. Uh, he's primed it with UMP primer and coated the body with zero paints and the chassis yeah. with Tamika semi gloss black. Tamika, yeah. that's fancy. That, that must be some ah. new paint. <laughs> <laughs> I got an idea what's happening there. You know that scene in Lethal Weapon where. Uh... Is it Rick? Yeah, he's getting tortured by the Chinese dude, wherever he is. You know what it might be? 
<laughs> Some dudes on a, like a spring mattress behind Dan getting shot by a car battery. Hang on, let me just change for... Well, Never I don't want. I don't no, want. Don't change the <laughs> oh, oh, change the internet. Yeah. Right. This is and, uh, really sucks at playing operation. <laughs> and that was the last one from me this week. Oh no! What's this? <laughs> what did you just do, Dan? Because your voice sounds perfect now. Uh, changed a completely different microphone again. Yeah. I had to change it earlier because they were doing it to me earlier. And now I've had to change it back to the one that I had earlier that were making it. A bit crappy, but Tell yeah. Story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Well done, Dan. Well done, everyone. Showed your work. Uh, you will be up in a day or two, and you can do it again for next week. No problem. So what I think we'll do now, we'll do another giveaway, and we'll do the second load of our auctions, and then we'll have a look what we've been buying, and then we'll go to Tim for all these kit releases. You ready, Absolutely. Tim? Absolutely. In about half an hour or so, not yet. No. Right. Yeah, so put it yourself now. We'll give away the goodie bag, UMP goodie bag. Goodie bag. No, I'm not getting up, probably well, it's up there. Uh, so it's a pack of sanders, pickle pencils, some stickers, a bag, some bits and bobs. And all you've got to do to win that is when you see Les, say start numbers now. Yep. Uh, when you see start numbers now in the chat, pick a number from one to a thousand, one number only, pop it in the chat. Uh, after five minutes, we'll close it. What the hell? So it's a random message off Hannah saying, need a Clintons. <laughs> hey? Totally distracted. I was like, <laughs> Quick, get a hold of Bill. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you only, uh, don't more than one you get disqualified. My God, people stop messaging me while I'm live. You oh, it's, 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 it's candles. Yeah. Candles. My God. Yep. Um, at the five minutes we're closed, we'll random number generator and we'll pick the winner at random. And you win that goodie bag. Simple as that. We've still got a very, very nice mini RT54 to give away. Make sure you stick around, and obviously our auctions are up next. So, are you ready, Les? I am ready. Get the, ca- get the uh, candles off my screen. Right, in three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. Best of luck. Let's see what you can do. Whoops. That's right, none of them noticed either. They're like, zip! Oh, I'll go back on and have a look at this. Oh, auction starts now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Hello, uh, Nikki just bid £476. Oh, oh my God, that's amazing. Very generous bid. I know. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, not the auction, Andy. Why have you been at work on a trawler today? What? Have you been at work on a trawler? That's his mum. Sounds like it's going to be a typical dad joke, but go on. No, you oh, yeah. jump and look like a trawler man's. This is my partially festive slash can wear any day of the year jumper. How's your mum's that? Mum's partially festive. Oh. Just jumped off the trawler oh. jumper. No one saw that. Oh, no I saw that. The camera's on you. The camera's on you. <laughs> Everyone saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good enough for that one, young man. I do my Gordon Ramsay, but I'm not paying for that. David says, Paul, what are you doing with my car? He's going to keep it. <laughs> He's going to drive it around. What car? I don't know. The Dodge Charger you got sitting on your bench? Hmm. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, it's right behind you. It's a 69. 71's better, Ivan. <laughs> you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. Is it for a live show? No. Well, it can be. <laughs> it can well, be if you've got to pay for it. Well, what it is, it's like a 69. <laughs> <laughs> it's covered in piss. <laughs> it's covered in piss. Just like that, but different. I broke her back. <clears throat> like this. <laughs> Tommy Dick Fingers. <laughs> Tommy Dick Fingers. <laughs> right, you've got two minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, God. Uh, I've got I've got a builder mate that's got hand weak fingers like Mars bars and there's a few jokes that float about with that and uh, yeah. Kind of funny, but not for the live show. Oh, Save it for the truck stop. Leave <laughs> <laughs> it. Baldy bouncer. <laughs> Baldy 
Get on the, the back of the bush, you know. <laughs> How far away are they? <laughs> you could have been a part of that cast, Ivan. Yeah. It's about Bolton. Or Bolton, as Bolton people call it. What thinner ratio do you use for X-Men 2 with still and thinner? 50-50 or do you? And then missed it on your <coughs> Yep. Watch those decals. Yes. What are they doing? Yeah. Go put on two takers at my decals. It really will. So you want to be careful. You want to whisk those eggs. Whisk. Whiskers. Minute and a half peeps. You can pick a number, pop it in the chat. You know, I've came to the conclusion that by the time Ivan's our age, he's going to be a. Uh, Hang it around 60 and 70 year olds. Pessimistic. Arsehole. Yeah. I'm one of those now. Yeah. Hey, yeah, he's getting there. He won't trust anyone or like anyone. Yeah. He could look like Sam is looking at that paintbrush right now. No. Disgust. Oh, there's decals going down, Sam. Okay. Yes, but I don't know. bothering him? No, I don't know. Uh, you got just under a minute. Under a minute? I know, I have a shape all, and I, I was going to, it's not time today. So just as I went to do it, I had some around to fix the front door. So, yeah. You know, Ivan, every time that the second ticks by on the clock, we get closer to, you know what? Yes. Christmas. 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 What's Santa bringing you, Ivan? His big sack. <gasps> oh. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully that. It's Mariah Ferry. <laughs> he, could, he could bring Mariah. <laughs> five seconds, Les. Five seconds, Les. Five seconds. Oh, five, five seconds. seconds. Now? Yep. Bam. Number stop now. Hence the five seconds. Oh, I know, but I couldn't hear you. I, I said five seconds, Les. Yeah. Uh -oh. What? Oop. Exactly. Oh, it's kind of unlucky. You're oh, no. It's You're right. out of it. I don't think you've ever cooked a skull up in your life. Nice. Is that oh. Yes, it is. Math goodies this round? Yeah. Right. Oh. Who works? We'll Left. Do. Oh, really? Oh, right. Right, we're going to click this once and once only. That'll be the winner for the goodie bag. As always, you two people pick the same number. The first person to pick it wins. And if you can know is one, please don't shout out in the chat. These guys will check, double check. And once to know the winner, they'll announce the answer. So the winner number four the goodie bag is 736. Seven. 736. 736. No, there's no no lag, Matthew. Delay. Seven for six. Seven for six. There's a delay, Matthew, on the live feed. It's about eleven seconds. Uh, make sure you're live as well. You're watching live. There's about eleven second delay on the feed. It's not lag. It's just I just scrolled up. I was like, oh, I'm on the wrong bit. <laughs> it's, it's confusing the hell out of me. Uh, uh, Kenneth, J, M, C, G, and Keith, you're you're out. Unlucky. You're out. How fortunate. You're alive, aren't you? Well done. People still thought you'd obviously be alive. Well, <clears throat> what's going on? Some of you guys must not be watching um, the live feed because you're a bit behind. So we've still got the auctions, we're just going to do it in a minute, and then we've got what we've been buying and Timmy's latest get releases. And that is all done. Right. Mm, all right. Timmy. Oh, people still put an opposite chat. Well, you know, one of them is just a backseat driver. Oh, backseat drivers. The worst of them all, you know. The worst. 
Jaffo. Just another. All right, we do have ourselves a winner. On math goodies, we drew the number of 736, and the winning number was 735, and that'll be VR46 Scale Models. Congratulations. Up. You well, buddy. Uh, get your name and address to me on the Facebook page or the forum, and I should get that in the post here as soon as possible. There you go. Well done. Excellent. Stick around. Still got that ice, uh, mini craft T54 to give away, uh, which we'll do near the end of the show. And right now, we're going to go back to... Oh, oh. Hello. What's the matter, though? That was noisy. That was a weird noise. Right, what's the first time? What's the first time? Someone's watching us back. No, nah, I think it's Dan just getting feedback. Or was. Dan needs to be stopped. Give Dan some feedback in a minute. It's alright, he's muted, it's fine. Go on. <laughs> so you're back on me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. So we're going to go up with first lot, lot of this one is the Bell Kicks Fiesta from Sam. Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. It's a Fiesta, you said? A Fiesta! Magazine. Yep, there you go. <laughs> RSWRC. Ta da! Nice. Love it. Get postage. Um, UK, 350. Europe, probably 650. America, 10 or maybe. Yep. Okay, don't you want to start with a quid? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, next, we're starting the bids at a pound. Don't forget, all the bids are in UK pounds. Make sure you put pound symbol, GBP, or P on your bid so we know it's a bid and not something that's in the way. <coughs> Serious bids only and payment is due within 24 hours. You ready, Liz? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, Ivan was right in there, wasn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Who's Ivan? I'm Ivan. That's Ivan there. That's, that's him. Little stubby girl. Hey, uh, boy. <laughs> Filthy. Give me alone. No, this is not a good way. This is an auction. Yeah, I think he Keith just joined a few minutes ago. Yeah, it's an auction, buddy. I did just explain. And. Uh, Aussie Mouse, it's it's uh, auction buddy. Just explained it. Literally, just need to listen, beeps. In the nicest oh, way. Fuck. The winning words appears with Gary. Yeah, Gary's in there at twenty nine. Twenty nine pounds. Hey baby. Oh, oh wait, thirty pounds. Yeah. He's going for the flavour. Go for it, Ian. He's in there at 30. And you've got a minute 40. And, uh, ooh, a bit of a weird delay. Make sure I'm live there. Hang on. Mm, who's going to get the lamp sauce? We've got a nine second delay this time. Did you see that uh, map that was put up in the chat there it looks like over there on your guys side of the pond that uh virgins have some issues huh yeah well mine was playing up a bit wasn't it yeah everybody's over there has been in it uh, we've got gary constable 31 pounds now uh yeah i think so gary you're not really vibing with the modern rally cars are you sam no i want to concentrate um cars that i like you know like the the escorts of the the 30s the mantas Yep, how much, Sam? Adam Chowder at thirty-three pounds. Ooh, look at Adam go! <laughs> he's brought the chips and then he's dropped them. He's <laughs> brought them and he's pick dropped them. The, pick one off the floor and eat it. Are you on glue? <laughs> <laughs> there is a horse Ooh. in my cabaret suite. What was that? <laughs> I think it was two. <laughs> Ten seconds and we'll get this time. <laughs> uh, ooh, hang on, I'm going with the lead we got. It's a fucking bronco. Eight, about eight seconds. <laughs> Ready, Les? Yep. 
Oh, oh my gosh, it stops now. Simon. Oh, Simon. Oh, you sneaky. Oh, out. Nice hey. again, Tony. Well done, Simon. You got the skull up the way, messing around, is he? No, 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 well done, Simon. Good start. Well, I'll have a dig at that. Well done. What did it go for? Uh, 37. 37? Yep. Right. What's next, Tim? The, sorry, sorry, very sorry there. Next up is, where's my pictures? Where's pictures? Gallery. Next up, we have your Pro Model R 69 Charger. Okie dokie, so we've got this kit. Oh. Which is a char yeah, Charger. This kit, nice kit in its own right. I believe it comes with two engines, does it, Brett? Yep, and an engine stand. And an engine stand, as you can see there. And it makes that very nice car shown there. Two different it's out of production, you can't get it anymore. It's out of production, is it, yeah? Yep. So it makes those two different schemes there. So we've got the standard kit. Which is the instruction uh, standard decals, all in good nick. And surprisingly, these decals are actually really good. Yeah, they are. I've never had a problem with these Rebel car kits, so they're going really down really well. There's the basic car kit in there. Then we have the General Lee decals in there, so the Confederate flag and the zero one for the side. Uh, at the bottom, we've got the normal rims normal tyres and then a different set of rims and tyres for the Juicer Hazard car. So you can build three different versions of the car there and it's got all the appropriate uh, extras needed to do it. Postage uh, will be 390 UK, 6 quid Europe and I'm going to guess 10 quid to the States. Roughly. Oh. There we go. So that's it. We're going to start with bidding at a pound and let me know when you are ready, Liz. I'm ready. Okie dokie. Three, two, one, go. Auction and starts now. It's 25th scale. Ivan's in for generous three. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. Have a good Ivan. Wow. Break the bank there, Ivan, with that. <laughs> Yeah, this will make a full orange charger. Oh, I'm just no Stuart's over twelve. Peter thirteen. Stuart's behind again. Sergeant Bones at fourteen. Peter at fifteen. Ba ba ba. Ba ba dee ba dee doo. Stuart going to get a fifty. <laughs> yeah. He cracked himself up. Yeah. Hey, Stuart's finally in front at 17. <laughs> that should be a Reebok AMT Kipple. Is that right, Brett? Yeah. That no, one. that was a Ravel new mold at the time. Right, so it's a Ravel, not AMT. Yep. <clears throat> Keith, he is doing in pounds, but he's putting peak because uh, he's over in the States. Yeah. What's your, what's your major malfunction, Ivan? Oh, well. It will go well with your Trans Am, Shane. Very well. He could, uh, he watches, what do you, what, what's your favourite program you watch, Ivan? Very At a minute, but I still get him. Yeah. Drag race. Drag race. Keith, they're putting P at the end for pounds because they're, they're foreign overseas. Oh, sorry, you're in Germany, aren't you, bud? Sorry. <laughs> Those who can't put a pound sign. Right, let's just chill in the chat right now. Let's just calm down. Everyone calm. Yeah. Stuart at 19. Shoo, be do be do up. There you go, you got 43 seconds and the delay is about eight seconds again. Yeah. So the winner is just Stuart at 19. Oh. Go Stuart. Go Stuart. Stuart, go. Go Stuart, <laughs> eh? 15 seconds. 
Eight second delay, I make it. Yeah. You ready, Liz? Yep. Oh! Auction stops now. Brad well done, Pierce, Brad. Yeah, Brad, 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 Brad. Well done, Brad. Brad. Uh, oh, we're lucky to oh, 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 you guys. Wow. Uh, right, Brad, uh, if you can contact me on Facebook, Paul Bratland, or the forum, Paul. And uh, let me know where you're from. And I'll show you mm -hmm. uh, uh, Next, Tim. Sorry. <laughs> So next one up is my T sixty four. Oh, I like that. No. What is it? A T sixty four. The trumpeter one thirty five T sixty four. So you get in here. You get a good amount in here. You get a aluminium barrel in there, so you don't have to buy any aftermarket that way. Uh, you get. Uh, individual and link and link type tracks for it so it's not all individual tracks it makes it a lot easier uh, and there's a lot of in, lot of stuff in there you also get a plastic barrel if you want to use a plastic barrel in there you can do whatever you want in that one so uh, started at a pound uh, UK postage um, three quid um, your post will be seven uh, US posts will be probably about eleven pound a game. Uh, quickly, the R six, the R forty six, Facebook or the forum. Right, you ready, Tim? You ready, Liz? Yeah. Sorry. I am ready. Okay, okay, three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Auction starts now. <laughs> oh, Ivan, your your generosity shows no ending. You know that. <laughs> I must say, it's. <laughs> Just oh, like, look at John. John's John, like, no, yeah. I want this. <laughs> yeah, it's a cracking kit, this one. Very good. He yeah, has a lot of bolt on armor. Yeah, uh, I wonder if. Uh, I wonder if. said no. <laughs> no, I'm happy here. Come on, guys, this is what I do. This is, <laughs> leave me alone. Dang. See, Stuart. I'm not really sure, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, you got a minute and 50 seconds, and yeah, it's about any second delay again. Time to go kill the garden. Yeah, mm -hmm. Cassius, here, buddy. Ha ha ha! It's the back bomb. Thanks, Stuart. Oh, he's just joking. He's staying. He's been around for long, isn't he? Hop along. David wants to see the kit again, just come back. Certainly can, David. If you like, come on. The lovely kit with a free crease in the box. Yeah, free creasing, I think. And it's got a cheat to criticise my boxes. Oi, they are all in the back, the plastic bags. Yeah, they're <laughs> all in the plastic bags. No loose parts, nothing off the sprue. All brand new. Okay. Ivan. Don't know what you're about. So you're 45 <laughs> seconds now. I no delay. Eight, eight delay for those snipers out there. Oh, <laughs> Ivan, yours up next. Uh, yeah, that's wrong. Twenty seconds. Choo choo. Oh, choo choo. Shut up. Choo choo. John's clenching now. Yeah. Nah, because I, I made sure I checked the price on uh, Amazon earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have it, Gary. He will have hoovered all them out and eaten them. Take, take it. <laughs> <laughs> sort of size on. 
Who needs house coat? Here's my house coat. Auction stops now. Oh, <coughs> yours, Sharpie. Oh, yours. What did John get it for? You got 40. it for 40. 40. Now, good question. I've got kids to do tonight. I also have some books to sell. Well, I'm quite close to do books as well. No, no. Books. I've got Mika Jimenez's FAQ 1, the original one, and the FAQ 2. The original one you can't get anymore. Full stop. It's getting quite hard to find now. Mm. I've got both of them. Any interest in them at all? Or stick them on eBay? Are they aircraft or armor? Armor. Harvey's still interested. Um, the first one's getting very hard to find. Which, which part? Uh, my head. Uh. I'll just quickly show. Just so people know. So anyway, so next up is Ivan and his F-15. Oh, right. on, let me show this quickly. Uh -oh. So that one, FAQ-1. These are nice, thick. <laughs> Loads of tips, tricks, guides, all sorts. And then FAQ-2, which is the more modern one. Can you still get this? Yes. You can still get that one. And again, a bit more organized, this one, as a guide. Well, these are like 40 or quid a pop and in fact that one can go for more on your base. So if there's any interest let me know and I'll sort it out near the end. So what are we on? We're on to Ivan. Yes. Okay. Ivan. So we have the kit itself. The F-15 East Strike Eagle 148 and bombs. Very good. But also quick boost resin ejector oh, seats. Very nice. Oh. <coughs> Zoom set. Zoom. Some. Excellent. <laughs> More PE. Oh, you couldn't do that. You'd be knackered. <laughs> and this was in the box. It has some used PE, but some unused. So make of it what you can. So yeah. not to do that, Kate, but with you. Yeah, it's just some random bits of metal. Uh, so, them and that. Uh, someone's asking there, is that the 911 special version with the tribute decals? I don't think so. I don't know. No, I don't think, it's, don't think it is. No, well, I know it's, it's got a tiger on it. <coughs> that's, the, that's, the tiger, that's a tiger meat plane then. Tiger very meat. Nice very nice kit. Right, postage. UK, four quid. EU was uh, nine quid. Yeah. US twelve quid. Rest of the world fifteen. Okay. Excellent. And you start off at a pound? No, I'm not. I'm going to start off at a fiver. Oh, a fiver. Oh. <laughs> Risky business. Oh. <laughs> Might be in on the beer then. Right, you ready, Liz? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. Best of the people. <laughs> the best of the people. Uh, <coughs> Where is it dress? So you stick a qu that's my own fault, that. 20 snots. Uh, 15 snots. 16 with Sprugu. <laughs> Can we make it more interesting? Go on. I die. Come here. Oh. <laughs> What's a story more in glory? Yeah. Um, no, it's yeah. not. Right. Well, I was going to ask, ask, could I add one thing? And it's a small thing, but it's in the time. What is it? Bah. Oh, are you selling that? Oh, what is it? <laughs> oh, what is it? Is it two little figures? One. Uh, you get everything on the picture, it's all resin. Oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we got them. Cool. No I don't mean, know if there's any interest in my book, so that's what I'm doing. minute and 34 seconds, and there's approximately a... Filthy. Eight second delay again. It's a great record. You're yeah. okay, Keith. That's great, Keith. Thank you. Oh. 
Boys, I'm going to have to go because my eyes are starting to close. All right, Sam. All right, Sam. We'll uh, see you later, buddy. buddy. Yep. We'll catch All right, up. Guys, Sam. Sam. Bye, dude. Uh, see you, man. Sorry, mate. How <gasps> long's left? Shark. Oh, <gasps> really? That little? Wow. <laughs> Shockingly bad. That. Oh, I can't believe there's that little time left. <gasps> I need to get more money then, Pete. Yeah. Oh, 30 seconds. Yeah, 8 second delay. Get your snipers. Balls no more. Oh, that's, that's bad news, Pete. Oh. Yeah. You need to find more money, Pete. You definitely need to find more money. No, that's oh, even... I don't think there's any of these in England that won't sell. Oh, either on eBay, they only for sell in England. Time to hoover the couch. Quite surprised. <laughs> What's up next after this one? I couldn't find that. Um, ready, Les? Ready, Les? Sorry. Les? Yep. Action starts now. What was that? Um, Great. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, so, do some skill, mate. Uh, Manning Tree Model er, 25. Any... Lucky boys, you better out of your time in there. Yeah. Manning Tree. Sorted, yeah? <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> well, Andreas, <laughs> that's just how it goes. Right, pull up next to F60. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, right. So, Tamiya's lovely Ferrari F60, very, very nice kit, and rare for Tamiya. Actually, comes with some photo edge. Oh, I know, very rarely really get it. So, for the tire markings, buckles for the seat belts, etc., etc. There's your steel belts on the back. <laughs> nice decals. Again, I guess it's going to be cartograph. And they are. And a very, very nice kit of a modern day. Well, modern day ish. Formula One car. Not a cheap kit at all. And um, that's it. Postage is going to be three ninety <clears throat> six quid Europe. And about £10 uh, US. Um, and that's it. We'll start the bidding off at a pound. I think. Not a cheap kid, so if it doesn't go cheap, I would be happy. You ready, guys? <laughs> yeah. Okay, in three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. What? Oh, sorry, Graham, what, we said to, what did you say you were looking for? Like that Foose, that uh, Ford truck, I couldn't find it on scale, mate. Um, it should be on there, because I put my review up, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Revel 85-4426. Oh, what was that? There's, there's one being built recently and it was up on uh, Zero Paints page. It looks so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got enough. Good now, I think. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit grey, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh. Get some more money then, Pete. Money. A minute and thirty ooh, <laughs> minute and thirty seconds now and there's an eight second delay, my end. Can we, can we have general rock chit chat in a little bit after the auction? Please, please gents. Rock chicks. We, need, we always need some rock chicks after the auction. We got Ivan. Twenty three quid with Simon. <laughs> That's true. We have got Ivan. <clears throat> <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh. I do realise Ivan Simon's just winding you up now. Yeah, of course it is. Ivan are back and forth. It's a cut the tension. Mm -hmm. Attention. Attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I've got about a seven second delay there. There's 35 seconds left. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. JJ! Hmm. Only one we got left after this then. Two? What is it? 20 seconds. Yep. Uh, Les is Stug and then the Foose. Hang on, there's some women here too. Hey, you know it. No, there's women there. I think it's who said gents. Yeah, it's because that. There's. Sorry. Oh, stops now. Oh, guys, got it. Yeah. If <laughs> <laughs> you make sure you got that. <laughs> yeah, but Michael, the uh, the women weren't chatting rubbish in the monkey door. That's why I said guys. So, thanks for telling me about the women. They were no fully. Definitely <laughs> women in there. We're doing this for over a year, but thanks anyway. <laughs> right. What's that? <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> All righty. Let's see here. Next up for <coughs> this Dragon 135th. What is this? What's the name? Uh, Bottle of Sprans? Yeah, I'll do. Scoop 3, uh, off G, early production. Right. This the uh, Dragon Expo version. So inside here, I'm going to pull these out real quick. It comes with uh, PE and also metal tow cable, decals, uh, a nice machine gun there. Uh, also comes with magic tracks inside the kit as well. So you got all the goodies that uh, Dragon used to carry inside their kits back in the day. And so if you give me a second here... I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on this box so nothing gets lost. And we'll set that there. So let me get set up here real quick. <clears throat> what I'll be looking for, um, we're going to start this at a 10-pound minimum. And shipping to Europe and UK will be listed at 20 pounds, and it'll be about 20 US dollars. Uh, Keith, no, that's not a Dragon Rebox, it's an old Matchbox kit they took from the 70s. Oh, God, no. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard of Dragon Reboxing Matchbox no. kits. That's all. Matchbox didn't do one thing. That is a Dragon kit. Yeah. Yeah, Matchbox didn't do 35th scale. Yeah. So, uh, no. <laughs> it's not. No. Uh, right, you ready, Liz? I will be in just a second. <laughs> Oh, okay. I am ready, sir. Three, two, one. Production starts now. <clears throat> uh, well, it's a bit quiet. I'm going to have to say good night, fellas. Before hey, I just see you, John. Bye, bye, bye John. I'll chat with you later, man. Bye, bye, John. See you guys later. Bye, bye. Good night, John. Boy. Toodle Pepsi poos. Boy. <clears throat> So if, it's, if Tamir do a rebox, they say on the front who's, whose sprues they yeah. are, they'll put the other badge on the front. So for for, for example, the Tamir Hurricane, it says Italiary on the box. Yeah. And Tamir have never reboxed a Matchbox kit, have they? No. Definitely not. I, I highly doubt it. No. Well, I see what he means, man. Tamir and Tilleri. Yeah. Yep. Yes! Suspect. Suspection. Oh. I uh. Lovely part. I put all my Andreas on the uh the shelf last did night. You, that was a. Did you let the press know? Yes. Were they interested? Did they fit on the new shelf today? Uh, uh that on there. A bit deep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I, I didn't, what are we talking I, about? I didn't want to go onto this shelf, but I had to. First world problems, eh? Yeah. Yeah. You're always throwing up in the bin. What about the other one, though? What about the one I gave you? He fit, but your shelves are proper deep. No, no. So I told you. Just whack, just whack one of the shelves off. What? That would make them too tall. No, no. Those shelves are two shelves deep. No. Uh, Anyway, there's a minute and eight seconds left. They're too hot. Approximately a seven-second delay. 
Right, what's, what, where, where's it wrong, Ivan? The height is fine. Yeah. The shelf depth. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I doubled up. <laughs> so I could fit more paint on there. Oh, I can't do that. No. Oh, God, no. Just get a hammer. That's on my, that's on my issue. And I've got a drawer full of duplicates above. Hang on. How many Andreas have you got? I think Keith a paid a hundred quid in the chat and missed out the one. Hundred pound? Well done, Keith. There's, there's stores coming from the States. What's the postage cost, Liz? Uh, Chris, uh, if you're in Europe uh, or the UK, we're looking at 20. And then uh, if you're in the US, it'll be uh, $20, US dollars. I, I very highly doubt that costs 20 quid to post, though, Chris, from the States. Yeah, and anything, that's, anything that doesn't, because I'll, I'll supply a receipt and uh, reimburse any that's not used. 10 seconds, Ten seconds. Left. Yeah. yeah, I think your postage costs are putting a few people off. There's, I know you're covering your back up the last time, but they're a lot lighter, those kids. Anyway, one second. Yeah. Auction stops now. Les is in with 20, uh, Brett's in with 20 quid. Nice. 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 Is that everyone on screen yet? Yeah. It's mine. Okay, uh, I guess I'll put that with the other one. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're doing there, but I don't know if it's a bit of human we're missing out on, or I don't know. But you're losing us a bit. Missed out four zeros as well. I'm happy face. Yeah. <laughs> don't get it. I'm lost. Modelers banter. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know Keith. So, anyway, what's next, Tim? Last one. The Revel Foos F100 board yeah. pickup. Stop moving it around. There you go. So the horse food was the brand new mouldings. This is not a rebox. Nice. It's a brand spanking new 2016, 2017 kit. Absolutely cool. wonderful thing. Post. Based on the real truck. Yep. Oh, stage. Most on the real food. <laughs> uh, UK three pounds. Three. Or, uh, um, seven pound again, US eleven pounds. Just bid on a piece of your big tart. Come on, <laughs> like, just bid on it. What's the worst that can happen? Attention, hall. Right, so we're, we're starting at a quid, and you ready? Yep. yep. Right, three, two, one, go. Auction starts now. <laughs> oh, uh oh, oh, yeah. Batty dog, sir. I'm Jarvis speaking. <laughs> See, well done. I think it's called Shanta. Well, I think it's called something. Don't think called something. Yeah. Oh, Problem is for me, when people start doing that, to me, it just looks like trolling. Yeah. So, Does it actually it? have all the first bits in it, unlike the first. Okay, so Gary, what this is, this. So, you know the other Foos kits? They are. Old kits reboxed with new decals and new wheels, and they don't. The, when you build them, they don't look anything like the Foos kits. This is a hundred percent based on the Foos truck. So they went out and modeled this kit on the Foos truck. So exactly how their kit, their truck is, is how this kit is to to the sizes. Their, their truck comes in a box in bits. Yeah, it definitely does. Yeah. It, it's it's this low when you build it. It's not jacked up like the normal models. It's very <coughs> good. Very good indeed. You get the wheels, you get the brakes, discs, uh, you get the and you get some decals for it, but not a huge amount. There's a wood a wood bed decal on the back ends. Very, very nice to build up that one. Hi. Hi. You get, in get, a, seconds and... you get a Roosh engine in there. Oh, it's Roush. <laughs> Roush. I just Roush. I agree, Paul. Roush. Anyway. Roush. You get a Roush engine in there. Minute 15 oh, yeah. seconds, you get about a seven second delay. Keith, <clears throat> what it means is, buddy, because we don't know you, we've never seen you chat before, we don't know if you're doing a bit of banter and have a laugh or you're trying to troll us. It, it doesn't come across very well what you're trying to do. Oh, yeah. Roosh. 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 It's Roosh. 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 Isn't that a type of cheese? <laughs> Roosh. Sucker and sucker trash. Lovely party. 
So we've got a moment, Ray. 25 seconds left. <laughs> 50. Oh, Rob Williams. 80. Robin Williams. Oh, Roche. 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 Roush. He's an American from Wisconsin. He's Jack Roush. Eight yep. seconds. Roush. Five. Roush. Three, two, one. Done. All right, auction stops Ooh. now. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay, well, that's, that's what it's nice. David, David Payne got it. Yeah, David Payne on my screen. Yeah. David Payne. Oh, David oh, Payne on Tony. 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 Oh, is it with you, Tony? Oh, Shane, dude, you're, you're well out today. Yeah, he missed that. My screen, that's David got that. Yeah, yeah I got, got David that. as well. Yeah. Well done, guys. Unlucky Shane and Tony. Yeah, I'm unlucky, unlucky. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all done, now? All done, all done. Yeah. David, well done. 20 pounds. Yeah. Uh, get your Got in contact with me on Facebook, Timothy Ibats. Ivan, do your figures. Are <coughs> oh, you sure? Okay, cool. Got Tim ISM on the forum. It's a flash, 10 second auction. Get ready, people. Uh, Bid. I thought three to one, though. <laughs> no, 135th, resin. You get everything on the box. All resin. 135th, it's all resin. You get everything on the box. Is it resin? It is resin. Do you get everything on the box? If you do. Oh. USMC in Afghanistan. Counter offensive. Two figures with base. All resin, high quality. All resin. It is resin. Right, we're gonna we're gonna do a speed round this one because we'll do a minute. There's 158 people watching. Everyone's watching. Does so that make any difference? You happy with that? We do a minute auction. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go. Right. Just start that. Uh, sorry, quid. I don't care. Uh, what scale? 35th, Brad. One fifth. Resin. There's the big writing. One thirty fifth. Um, postage. Oh God. Uh, UK two quid. No, it's not. It's gonna be over three quid. Three quid, sorry. Uh, three quid. Europe, five quid. US, about eight quid. Rest of the world, about nine quid. probably a bit dear, isn't that, Ivan? I'll cover it, whatever it is. Okay. Ooh. Very generous. Okie doke. Ready when you are. Right, three, two, one. You ready, guys? Yep. Go. Auction starts now. A minute auction, guys. Just a minute. Get it through quick because it's, it's a set of figures. Six yeah, it's, it's, it's his niche, not everyone wants them. So. They're nice figures, really nice figures. They are. Hello. What? No, they're not here. Hello. Why are you really low? Oh my god. <laughs> Your banner's in the way as well. <laughs> How long's left? Done. <laughs> Auction stops now. Cool. Southern Cross, 10 quid. There you go. PM me on Facebook or the forum or wherever you are. You'll you'll call it. I uh, you'll probably get he's in Australia. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me. I can tell by the map. Yeah, too bad the map. Uh, uh, good morning. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Noisy bastard. <laughs> right there we go. This auction's done. Right, uh, Brad, uh, Paul or Paul Bratton, you're looking for on Facebook or the forum to pay me? I think it was Brad, wasn't it? Who won mine? Who? Brad, who won mine before? Les? Uh, let me see here. The last one, for, the S60? No, it was Simon. Bi, and before that was Brad. Yeah, he won your uh, 69 Charger. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Right. Well... So Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Southern Cross has said, Give it to models for heroes, please. So, you said that, generous. Wow. Wow. the winner of my figures. Well done, very generous. Oh, well, so thank you, thank you. That was very good. Well done. So, I was reading something, right? So, there we go. There's all the auctions done. Well done to everyone. Uh, yeah, I can keep 
Sussy Shen. Ah, no rich brand. I should go and have a look at it. <laughs> anyway, there we are. Right, so let's have a look at what we've been building this week. No, okay. probably, rather. We'll then go to Tim's. Let's just get releases of Tim's Silver Lake. I am still wide awake. Goes house coat on. So over to Graham. Oh. Oh. What have I been buying? Yes. You got ready for it? I've been buying some plastic cups. Oh! We can't see them because it's mine. Plastic That's cups. Rod. Right? And not only plastic cups, but lids for plastic cups. Oh! Wow. I, didn't, I didn't bother. I bought something else, but it's still in the post. Wait. Short and sweet. Well, that was crap. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you employed me. Oh, it's a Brett. Hi. Hello. Hi. I bought this 48 scale Moab. Mother of all bombs. Yeah. Oh, cool. Man. Pretty big, too. It's, <laughs> this is just the body part of it. Oh, that's good. So it's a good size kit. Plus, you get the cart that it sits on and stick it on. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it looks cool. Then I did a review of this one. Little bird. Very nice, nice kit. I'm thinking it's going to build up really well. And what we were talking about earlier, I have a big build plan for 2018. It's going to involve a car and a truck. And the truck. Oh. Anybody remember what truck it is? We were talking about it earlier. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, so, nice. So I'm gonna build the car and the truck. Awesome. Cool. These decals come with uh, both sides of the trailer and then the stripes for the cab. Nice. So, been wanting to do that for a long time. I'm gonna do it in 2018. Nice idea. That's it. That's all. Cool. Uh, Dan. Hello. 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 What's crappy glue gone? It's crappy. <laughs> Works, but it's crappy. But we'll move swiftly on to these. But I, I bought these a while back and I forgot to show them uh, uh, a couple of three weeks back. So I'm going to show them today. Uh, these are a new paint. That one there. Archive X, it's called. Uh, it's supposed to be exact colours for the Millennium Falcon, what ILM used back in the olden days. Very expensive, but yeah, well worth it. And um, yeah, go and have a look at Facebook page if you're really interested. But like I say, they are expensive, but they work very well through the Apex. And yes, it's in the enamels, aren't they? Yes, they are enamels, uh, and there's a wide range of them. Um, and yes, they're very, very, very smooth paints. You don't need much. A little drop will go a long way. Um, but yeah, that's all I've bought. Cool. Uh, Gary Pesh says, who does the correct smoking bandit? Big rig, Brett. Yeah. Cool. Stuff, you know, planes. Sorry, I was talking and no one was listening. You got to buy the AMT Kenworth cab and then the Ravel 40 foot refrigerated trailer. There you go, Gary. There we go. Uh, Kenneth wants to know is that 144 of your Millennium Falcon? Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Les, I did not get anything this week. Okie dokie, Ivan! Oh, right. Uh, because the Bretland effect is grabbing people by the Nance. <coughs> I've got myself a ship. Um, small yeah. yours. With jokes awaiting. Uh, USS Lexington in 1700th. And it has uh, nearly 30 planes to go on it. I counted them. Nice. So yes, I got that. And it's nice because I was talking to Scott about it. It's got the blue deck and it's like painted blue. So it's quite a blue boat so that's cool yeah. it's blue. um i also got my third badger paint mixer 
Yeah. Uh, uh, I won't tell you what happened to the other two. And I also got myself a Sotar 2020. Oh. And I've used it on the vibrators. I've, I've used it on the uh, i16, and I love it. So yes, that is me. Bleach, Matthew, is what you want. Bleach. Excellent. Nice one. I have nice haul. Give me the house code. Cold, Timmy. Yeah, feeling it today. Cold today. It is a chap in. <laughs> Uh, 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 Timmy, you got your bike, boy, lady. Um, sell them more than buying. Well, I have to, I got have one on the way from me. I've got one on the way from you, and the other one should be posted. Hopefully, if I'm if I just throw it at the, at the payment in, it'll be posted Monday. No, Peter, cool. that's not the best airbrush now, buddy. It's just a different airbrush. It's for detail painting. It's a yeah. different job. Completely different job. Different job, mate. Have a, have a look at airbrushes and you'll realise that they're all different. Just, just, just another new one we found that's quite nice. Yeah. For uh, real close detail painting, Peter? Yeah. Yeah, I can see I can see Dan having one of them in his stable very soon. Yes. I'd like, I'd like to... I'll, you guys seem to have done some quite good work with them, and I, I liked your um, very expensive eye water, but it was just very, very expensive. It was too much. I, I could do a good price on that, though. Anyway, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's too this, I think it's more the pot. The, anyway, uh, so that's I think for the for the price, you get a great quality, great quality for the price of it. Which is always good. It's always good. But no, I've got nothing to show, unfortunately. I was just thinking I've actually received anything, but I don't. I haven't even got anything. Anything. You've only received the hernia from pumping that cabinet thing upstairs. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got a new screw. Oh, yeah, no, I suppose I've got something new to show. I uh, went to the dark side and got a Samsung S8, yeah. and they and they will hate me for it. <laughs> no, I love you yeah. for it. You want to? I, I don't hate you, Tim. I've got a Samsung. I if you want to lower yourself, that's fine. Can't lie. Spray that again. <laughs> I haven't right. eating again. What are you eating? Oh, anyway, yeah. moving, on, moving on. Right. Uh, I've not got all the stuff because it's all over the shop. Uh, I can go over to the forum. So some bits arrived for me. Uh, order from Hero Boy. Can't remember show this or not the other week. But there's a load of stuff here I bought, but this is where I think I was up to. So uh, order from Hero Boy. Some carbon decals, some tire decals. <clears throat> uh, decals for a Beamer for... What the hell was that for? No idea at all, I forget. Anyway, some new water pens, some solver sets, some flocking, and some mass sets for my E30s. Then a mother haul of an order from Spot Model. Uh, multiple cars, um, because I want to do multiple uh, schemes of them. 240 RS, the 037 Lancia, uh, the oh, Peugeot 306, and the Sapphire Cosi. Uh, from is that Regime Model Atlas, I think it is. This is the mobile water glass one. Very, very nice kit. And um, we've got a load of decals, some marble decals, some other aftermarket decals, some other car kits, some more decal solutions, a model towel pen. I haven't probably tried yet. Some more decals. And we've got a Jägermeister 635 oh. and a USS Nimitz 1700. And. Uh, I can come back to me. I also oh, got this in the post today, same as Ivan. It was on offer on Amazon, twenty-two pound. Not bad at all. Um, a lot smaller than the Nimitz. The box is tiny compared to the other one, and I'm hoping to build that pretty soon. There's probably other stuff turned up I forgot about. Uh, but for <clears> you now, that is it. There we go. Uh, there we are, Tim. Yes. Are you ready for your kits? I can be. I've got to sit through this bit now. <laughs> what? No, go cool. So It's right. Hey, we'll, we'll just do uh, that. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, can't I, can't all the I can't ignore Ivan. I was going to do that. Um, what? Hang on, right. And I've just got to start this up. There we go. There we go. Open. Just wait for this to sort of sort itself out. Go a bit slow tonight. 
There we go. And play. There we go. Ooh, ooh, who done that? Right. Good evening, all. Um, new kits section. Uh, let's see what I've, see what's out and about over the last week. Uh, we've got some nice new bits. Uh, we've got the Airfix <coughs> Hawker Sea Fury uh, available over at Hanant's. Uh, you'll probably see this available at more and more places quite soon. Uh, £24.49, 27, 27 euros 65 $33.10. Is this a pre-order or is it out now? I think this is a pre-order right. over at Hanant's on this one. Uh, so that is a reduced price. As I say, I don't think we've seen it anywhere else yet. Um, and I don't think it, we saw it at Telford. It looked nice. It looked very nice. Yeah, it looked, it looked nice at Telford. So mm -hmm. that's a good little uh, one to pick up. Uh, Thunder Models are going to be doing a British 7.2 inch howitzer, which is quite cool because you don't actually see um, really anything British on this sort of side of. Uh, of stuff being produced so this is to go with their scammel truck uh you've got two guys in the background looking like they're just chatting away while something explodes <laughs> yeah typical british people yeah typical british people oh, I'm my tea <laughs> um the m3 lee late is available over at hannah's i think it's a pre-order again on this one um the us medium light tank and it's 47 pound 99 54 euros 20 64 dollars 80. Mm. Uh, Roden have got the 1144 Lockheed C141B Starlifter. Um, now, even in 1144 scale, that is actually still going to be quite a big plane to build up. That is not a small. Yeah, it'll be a lump. It'll still be a nice size. £32.99, €37.25, £44.55. Uh, Academy are release, re releasing their. Phantom. Uh, this time it's therefore J Phantom 2 with the Red Devils uh, decals on this one. Um, I believe it's just a decal change on that. I don't think the aircraft's actually any different to the earlier versions. That's not a bad price, that. No. Oh, look at that. And this, well. this is a really good price. Yeah, £26.99, €30.50, Euros $36.44. I mean, for a base for a base kit out of the box for Phantom, that's really good. And that's one of the still one of the best Phantoms you can get, isn't it, the Academy one? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's that's mighty good price. Uh, you'll see that around and about quite soon for everywhere else. Um, Arena 120, uh, Arena, I'll uh, do a 124 Opal Cadet, Opal Cadet GTE 2000 Group 2. Alba Rally 1978, all red and kit. Uh, cool little car, I like this, like the cadet. Uh, this is sort of like uh, uh, Opal Vauxhall's Verge uh, fight against the Mark II Escort. Uh, just never really took off as well as the Ford did, especially over in England. Uh, it's not a cheap one. Spot model, one hundred and sixty-four pounds seventy, one hundred and eighty-five euros ninety-five, two hundred and twenty-two dollars thirty-five for that one. Quite a price, but if it's your thing, you'll pay it. Yeah, these resin kits are, they do seem to sit around this sort of price for that one. Mm. And it's a curbside, so no engine on that one. Oh. Now, Roden are going to be releasing a 132 Cessna 02A Skymaster. So, this is a push pull uh, mm. prop plane uh, from Vietnam. I like the wings don't shoot. <laughs> yes. quite, uh, quite good on this one. Love the look of the plane. Um, now I heard their recent release is not was quite a difficult and needed a lot of fighting to get a good uh, fit out of it. So let's hope they've done a little bit better on this one. Uh, from Veterans Models on a pre-order, forty-six pounds fifty-two euros, sixty-two dollars ten. Not cheap either. Yeah, I love that. It just rotated, puts me off. <laughs> yeah, some stuff's good, some stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one of them ones. Most of the, most of the stuff seems to have a, bit, have a bit of a fight in them. Yeah. Airfix is one seventy two Avro Shackleton AEW two is now available. Veterans models forty pounds forty five euros thirty fifty dollars. Sorry, fifty four dollars. I would recommend the Revel one. Exact same aircraft and stuff. More detailed, but and yeah, I've heard the Revel's slightly better. It's absolutely gorgeous. Kit. Nice. Uh, now, MIG Ammo are doing the Weathering Magazine Initiation to Aircraft Weathering. 
Now, the plane on the front cover was actually at Telford, and that was a mighty good-looking build. It looked so good. Um, book is from Veterans Malls, £20, €22, Euro, $60, €27. Uh, probably well worth reading through that one. Uh, now, the model collect 172 B2A Spirit is available at Veterans Models. I think this is all still on pre-order. I think they're still waiting for full confirmation of them coming to the country. £95, €107, Euros, $128 for that one. Uh, Italieri have uh, released the Tranny in a <coughs> patrol version. Uh, available from Veterans Models, so you can get the Tranny from them. Uh, Twenty-eight pounds, thirty-one euros, sixty, thirty-seven dollars, eighty. <coughs> uh, the Mig Ammo Weathering Magazine. Now this one's based all on using acrylic paints. On this one, so it's like a how-to uh, to use acrylics. Veterans models, sixteen pound, eighteen euros, ten, twenty-one dollars, sixty. We've got Dragon have released their re-released their one thirty-five. Cuba wagon radio car. My God, how expensive is that? <laughs> crazy price in it. Um, it you, you could probably pick up the Tamiya kit and just do a little bit of scratch building and get a little German radio set, and you'd be able to do that for half that price. Uh, you get some car graph decals with it. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but if you want it out of the box and you like the boxes, Hallens, £39.99, €45, Euros, $53.99. You'll probably see that then resold out three models, maybe with about five or six quid knots off back. But it's still, it's not cheap. Tim. Yeah. I was talking to my distributor, and the reason Dragon prices are so high, yeah. they paid a load of money for the Star Wars license, and they haven't released a Star Wars kit. Uh. So they're losing money. Because they haven't released any of their Star Wars kits. So they are actually going to be doing these Star Wars kits. Well, that's the rumor, but they paid uh, for the license. So they've paid for something, then haven't released anything. Oh. Right. So they're in trouble, so they have to raise the price of everything else. That's right. I mean, they've probably bought the license, and now they can't afford to tool any of it. Right. <laughs> so uh, that's why Dragon is raising their prices, because they screwed up somewhere. Wow. So they've they've totally they've done themselves. So it's weird how you think Bandai must have had. Well, Bandai probably did had the rights to it for a long time ago. So probably got a better deal, didn't they? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so they must have fought, fight fight for a better deal. Well, Dragon has shot themselves in the foot with that one. Yes, they have. Yeah. Um, so hunting around on the figure wise, uh, coming across a couple. This one's really looks really good. It's really quite cool. Uh, Galapagos Miniatures, 90 millimeter Siege, Gian, and Goblin. I think that's really quite cool. Uh, Hysterex, 45 pounds, 50 euros, 60 dollars. Like that. That's cool, that. Different yeah, right. yeah. uh, yeah. Nuts Planet, doing 112 uh, Belford. Belford, yeah. Half robotic <laughs> woman with a big ass gun on it. It's a racket of. So what? Off. What is? Never mind. Okay, cool. Rifle. Okay. Uh, El Greco Miniatures. Um, Seventy-one pound. Not cheap. That one. That's not cheap compared to the other stuff they do. No, it's really not. Um, you will get the base with that, but it's one twelve. Isn't that a lot bigger than the other ones? Uh, it, it, yeah, it is bigger. They're not usually that scale, are they? No, that yeah, that is quite yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, she'll, she'll be standing a good. 10 inches high? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know about that. Well, I just think for, for looking at the scale, you think it's 112 for a motorbike. Actually, no. Well, I think on the on the base... Yeah, anyway. anyway it's It'll be big enough. Big, it's big enough. Big enough. She's definitely big enough. Yeah. Uh, UK, £71, pound, €80 Euros for EU. Non-EU, $79.90. That one. They're also doing Nuts Planet Chief Liam. That looks really quite cool. You do some good fun. I like, the, I like the people who paint these. I I tell you what, if you could just buy them like that, <coughs> I, I would just buy them all <laughs> because they look so good. Um, a Greco miniatures again. Uh, UK forty one pound, EU forty six euros, forty six dollars twenty for that one. Uh, this one looks quite good as well. Pegasus models, Northern Wandering Knight. 
Beautiful. That is really good. Uh, again, El Greco miniatures for that one. £35.15, 39 euros, $39.65. I really like that, actually. That's really cool. That's very good. Don't have to worry too much about the face, Dan. We'll hit it away. It's eyes, it's eyes that Dan's like. <laughs> face down, ass up. <laughs> you know. That's what he likes to cook. Face down. Anyway. Um, Napo Napoleon Bonaparte is probably quite a small figure. Wow, that's one to one. <laughs> uh, this is not cheap. Uh, I can't see the scale. I think this must be the well, quite on the large scale. This one, so UK, one hundred and three pounds, one hundred and sixteen euros. So he must be big scale. Well, either, that, either that or they're cashing in on the name. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he, I mean, he's going to be a popular figure no matter what. Oh yes, most definitely. One hundred and sixty-seven dollars. Yeah, uh, that, that looks really good. That cape. Sort of waving in the wind. Yeah, it does. That would be if you could. If you're if you're good at painting cloth like that, capes like that. That's a that's a hell of a canvas. Yeah, that's 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 a whole load of painting on it itself, isn't it? Very yeah, nice. Beautiful. Uh, then go back to the goblin stuff. Oh. This one's really quite cool. Lapagus miniatures again, one tenth scale. Oh, uh, that one's like me before coffee. <laughs> Kaz Kazak Dram War Drum of the Doom. That looks really quite cool. This. Mm. Go, going along with a sort of a gi type, um, not gi, gills type of gi. <laughs> it kind of does look like gi, doesn't it? I, just, I need to get my I can see the resemblance. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, the horns definitely. I think I've yeah. seen the. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, obviously his vape. Yeah. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, Greco minute is forty-five <laughs> pounds, fifty euros, sixty dollars on that one. Nice. Now, the, we might have seen that there's a lot of new decals coming out for the recent Mercedes-Benz launch. Uh, now, Hero Boy's got loads of them in stock at the moment. They're all the same price. £25.99, €20, Euros, $35, for $35. They are selling out quick over there, so if you do want some of these, you need to go grab them now. Uh, you've got a really good Excise Ice Watch one there. You've got the Bill Stein AMG livery. You've got oh, man wow. filters, which looks a bit like the Brazilian flag. <coughs> it's really quite cool. You've got the AMG watch one, which I Paul really likes. Haribo. Oh, Harib Harib the Haribo one. Yeah, yeah, Haribo looks really cool. Very nice. You've got the uh, Battlefield one, which I believe is sold out. Oh, Battlefield one, don't know. Yeah, Battlefield, oh, one's, nah. Battlefield one's that sold out. And then you've got Linkin Park one. which That's awesome. awesome. Very nice. I think, uh, I think Paul shopped here once or twice. Nothing so. Either way, in the end, it doesn't even matter. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Terrible. Uh, AK Interactive released the Beast of War tanker issue number eight. Available mm -hmm. over at eModels, £8.99, €10.15, $12.15. Um, Hassi Gower are going to be releasing a 1 1,450th scale. Japanese Self Defense Force a DDH Hyuga. Uh, so, this is our landing craft plane. So, this has ospreys and uh, helicopters flying off that one. Quite a weird scale. Weird scale, yeah. Uh, it's not usually, it's usually 1 350th or 1 400th. Why 1 450th? I don't know. Um, but yeah, brand spanking new boxing out from Hattie Gower, so that'll probably cost about seven hundred pounds. Yeah, it'll be about a <laughs> With, mortgage worth of kit. Yeah, and then they'll sell you an aftermarket set twice the price of the kit. Yep. Um, but I'm quite sure it's brand new Hattie Gower, and they're always really good. It'll be. Uh, nice. They're just they're just crazy price. They're Japanese rich chip range. Um, what is a new brand coming out, which I'm not seeing for, for, before? It's called Very Fire. Never heard of this lot before. Doing a one scale, one seven hundred scale kit of the Louisiana U.S. Navy battleship. Um, so if we see any more about that, we'll let you know. Um, Red Iron models doing a one thirty five Hubble telescope, which is quite bit, quite cool. Quite like the idea. That must be still still good size. Um, it made out of resin on that one. Very nice. Now Top Studio have released a whole new range of uh, black braided hose, silver braided hose, and lots of resin ho uh, hose joints. 
they're all various different prices. I, I couldn't sit here listing them all because I'd be here for half a night. There's that many of them. Um, but it's quite safe to say if you go with a spot model, you can spend about £200 just on little hose connectors and hoses. And you know you need them all. You can't just buy one. Um, but yeah, if you if you need your detailing and you need to add some more extra detail, well worth getting very good quality stuff from them. Uh, <laughs> it's key. <laughs> I'm thinking, Helpful. what? <laughs> There's the colour chart. If you need to know which colour you need, uh, I'm going to go with 35. I like that colour. How about you, Ivan? What colour are you going to go with? Oh, I've got to go with 19. 19. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's definitely big, you noisy. Know, <laughs> <laughs> right, that's me done for the evening. Good good night, guys. Oh, well done, Tim. Well done. Yeah. Um, yeah, someone come for a minute while I'm just doing this. Uh, so, we hope that everybody's had themselves a wonderful time this evening. We're kind of getting back into the groove. We had a couple of weeks off in which we were busy doing other things. Uh, so I think you, I mean, you had a couple of weeks off and was doing it. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> rest sure. of us were here, you know. We we're all here. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys, did you guys do your show, the show last week? Yeah, we did the Saturday. Yeah. It was a, a oh. little show. It was really good, actually. Just a nice little uh, relaxed chat between ourselves, oh. a little say hi. Session. No. Yeah. Yeah. It was good to watch. Yeah, I watched through the uh, first giveaway, and then I haven't had time to get back on to watch it. So, and now it's the following weeks. So now I'm like, oh, the hell with it. Who are those people? <laughs> she looks so great. I'm not so angry. Gift Jaff, I've actually spent all my money, so I can't buy any alcohol. That's the problem. Yeah, that's terrible. terrible. I was also very close to get going out while Dan was doing his piece and going around the shops to get a couple of beers, but do you know what? Yeah, see, I, I cooked up some, warmed up some biscuits and gravy. And <laughs> I wonder what you're cooking up then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aha. It was all good. So, Graham, what's your favorite Beatles album? <laughs> Please say it. I don't like the Beatles. You're like you know Sam. No, it's fine because I don't either. Oi, we're not talking to you two. You don't need two so you can go stand. Yeah, well done. Yeah, well done, Les. I think we got Amy to solve, solve this problem totally. I would think we'll get rid of him as well. There we go. We could try, but the thing is, the best <laughs> album is the best of the Beatles. Oh, there it is. There Come it on, is. Derek, is just my channel partridge. No. Unfortunately. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, last game of the evening. Thanks for that, Timmy. That was good as well. Cool. So, last game of the evening is this beautiful mini RT 3054. He's saying 34. This thing weighs a ton. It's all seen. <laughs> Lovely, lovely kit. Very kind of donated by emodels.co.uk. So, to win that, all you've got to do is follow these simple rules. Uh, you'll see Les say start numbers now. Um, after that, you pick a number from 1 to 1,000, one number only. Pop in the chat after five minutes, we'll close it. Uh, we'll do a live random number generator, and a close person to that is the kit. Simple as that. It really is. You ready, Les? I am ready, sir. Okie dokie. In three, two, one, go. Numbers start now. I'm, off. No, I'm, I'm a definitely not an S Club 7 type of guy. <laughs> you are. Uh, I'm I'm I, I didn't show me so tall, did I either? I'm a... Nope. No one reminded me. Man. Well, um, Paul, you've not showed you so tall. Man. <laughs> no, hey, didn't you show it on the, the show on Saturday? <gasps> can't remember that far back. I've seen then. No, good point. Actually, I can't remember if you did or not. No, no idea. Man, man. Well, you should show it next week then. That's what I. Do. It's a surprise. We're gonna have to get uh, Graham. Will have to take over helping you read, so that way he can stay busy. Gra Graham looks bored. I'm not bored at all. I'm not bored at all. Do I read a book? If you don't want to be here, just say. We need, to get, we need to get Graham something to do to keep him entertained. Yeah. See, I can entertain myself. Yeah, we know. It's a guitar. It's a guitar, isn't it? Indian guitar. So tall, though. That's an airbrush. That's a sitar. <laughs> there you go. Three and a half minutes. Oh, dear. Time. Oh, dear. 
<clears throat> Indeed, what time is it? Quarter past eleven. Indeed. Would you like to find a brush? How much? Where are, you, where are you looking for that? You do. You must be metal. No, no I think it. Nope. You do. You're right, Billy says to express the show for the medium of dance. Yes. Interpretive dance as well. That's right. I agree. Right. Oh, wearing a sombrero and operating a Ouija board. The Ouija board? The Ouija, Ouija. Ouija board. I've oh. been waiting around two weeks, ain't no damn picking. <laughs> so it's our 2020s on an expensive piece? No, definitely not. How much did you pay for yours, Ivan? Uh, I paid uh, exactly what Simon said, 124. 24. And no more. Yeah. Uh, a custom micron, I might be selling mine. And plus, I uh, I sold my Xbox to buy mine. So. Go. Perform that on a sofa, please. What? I assume the dance. The safety dance. It must be one of those uh, weird... Strip it off quick. Uh, you've got two minutes. Weird two. December days. It's uh, oh, 0.15, isn't it, I think? Oh, I thought mine was 0.2. Simon will know in chat. Simon knows everything, doesn't he? What happened? What are we asking about? That's going to needle size and so tar. I think it's 1.5. 0.15. Yeah, it's 0.15, isn't it? Yeah. 0.15. Ah, uh, thank you. Well, Bro, I, I will 0.2 is the fine, apparently. <clears throat> oh, there is a liar. That's because it is, Peter. And no problem, Christopher. It is, Peter. I say so in the reviewer, do. Uh, loads of things on here. Knowledge. First of December. Please don't drink. Yeah, Some dog scale models is there. Hello. 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 What's the review, Peter? Hi, say, Brian. Stating that it's made by Badger and yeah. Just thirty seconds. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. Your mother was a hipster. That thing there. John. Backpack. Yeah, it's a backpack. It's a dinghy. It's a dinghy. Ding a ling a ling ding ding ding. You about 25 seconds. I want you to play with my ding a ling. Take it away, Graham. I'm not playing with my ding a ling. Seconds. It's a backpack, John. WRC backpacker one. Ready, Liz? I'm ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one, market. Numbers. Numbers. Yeah, Numbers. Cleaner. Sorry. You and P average cleaner don't like our like Pete, are you trolling me? Seriously. Uh you and P cleans for uh, acrylic. Um I'll clad lacquer, mate, you need lacquer thinner to clean that. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Right, hey. Any hoo hoo. Yeah, it's too late at night for this. Yep. Right. I just feel like people ask you silly questions on purpose sometimes. What's a model? That's right. It will congeal, Pete. Because for acrylics, lacquer isn't acrylic. Um, Leave me alone. No, no one said you're a dickhead. <coughs> Whoa, what? Did we? Pretty sure we didn't. Wow. Just random questions. Anyway, for those who know, UMP thinner and airbrush cleaners for acrylic paints and alkaline or lacquer, cellulose base, you need a lacquer cleaner for those. Right, so anyway, so we're going to pick a number from 1 to 1,000. This is for the T54. So you like ones. First person we pick. You heard me say it. I never said dickhead. Nope. I didn't hear it. No, nope, I'll do not. Well, no, and I'll play it back to prove if you want, Pete. You want to come join the hangout in a minute? I'll, I'll be alive. <coughs> not at all. 
Anyway, we're going to pick a number for one to a thousand. The closest person to the number wins the kit. It's that lovely mini RT54. And as always, two people pick the same number. Um, the first person to pick the number automatically wins. Uh, yeah, water pens. Thank you. Uh, and if you think there's one, please don't shout out in the chat. These guys will check, double check, and the person close. Oh, what am I saying that? <laughs> See, people throw me now. Unless we'll announce the winner. That's I'm right. Trying to I'm trying to read the chat and do this. Right, so the winner number four, that's E54, is 416. Four, one, six. Let's take a gander, shall we? You got it? There we go. Yes, Peter, never called your name, buddy. You can go back and watch it, because I wouldn't do it live. I know better than that. I said I get sick of it. Ask silly questions. That's all. If you read the bottom, I'm pretty sure it says acrylic. Somewhere it does. Can't read my bottle. The labels fell off. And there we are. And that's the end of the show. So once we know the winner, we'll announce it. Les will announce it. And we'll be back next Friday, which always comes around very, very quick. Yeah, that was yeah this year. <coughs> telling you, I'm telling you, man. Does it not just to know? Well, it is acrylic. No, he's Tommy. I haven't seen you from the hangout for a while. Model is Ivan in the wig. Yes. What model? Uh, you said asking stupid questions, and I said, "What's a model?" Ah. Anyone going to build the FX Walrus soon? I think Ivan has it. I would love to build it soon, but I've already uh, got one of Norman's I building it, but I think Norman's gone. Isn't he? Norman started, didn't he? Yeah, he's one third through it. Yeah, I have it, but I don't see building anytime soon. I can't Some see. Other things right now. Yeah, I've already <clears> got a plan of what I want to build, and that's not it. All righty, we have ourselves a winner. On hedges, we drew the number of 416, and the closest number we had was 418, and that is Ashley, 389100. So congratulations. There we go. <coughs> uh, there, Gary, as well. I I saw, uh, Ashley, get your name addressed to me, either on Facebook, Paul Bratland, or the forum, Paul. And I should get that in the post. You see, it's a lovely kit you got there as well. Very, very nice kit. Yeah. Uh, so well done. It weighs a ton. must be a lot of plastic in the box. I kind of wish it was open so I could have a look inside, but it's not. But uh, I love it. I think that's worth about 40 or 50 quid. Well done. Thank you very much to eModels for supplying that and all the other kids yeah. tonight. Well done to our winners. Thanks for these guys for joining in. Well done to everyone that won on the auction as well. And um, we shall see you all on Friday next week. Bye bye. So, thanks for everyone. Thanks for these guys for joining in. Take care, and we shall see you all next Friday. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.